Uh, tasty coffee. Got my bet money here. I beat show again. Man. I'm 2-0 oh against him. Good. He's the best better in the office. Mm. and I'm excited. I can't wait to, to, to gloat in front of him. He's on my shit list. He's been busting your balls lately. Yeah, like keeps on telling you your best, your your favorite rum is Mount Gay. Dude, it was like three times. I know. And then there was something else in there. Oh, you can't run the gauntlet. He says he always wants to. <laughs> Just because it's nine a.m. on a Tuesday show doesn't mean everybody's got to run the gauntlet. Got work to do. All right, since we're on the topic of busting balls, Shane. Yes. People, people. Uh, Rocky Four. Did you watch it? I didn't. I was I was too busy getting pussy. <laughs> Went to Eddie V's on Saturday night. Oh. I'm, I'm not time. allowed. To, I'm not allowed to be mad right now. I'm not mad at all. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I don't think anybody could with that. I mean, no. you did go to Eddie V's. It was it? Did you have a good time? I did have a good time. Yep. All right, maybe next weekend. Maybe next weekend. Maybe. Uh, yeah, no one can give him much shit right now <laughs> oh, for the Rocky Four thing. That's like something. That's something you or I would say. You now have seven days to watch it. Okay. Yep. You got seven. <laughs> <laughs> now we're giving you homework. You got to do it. I bought myself seven days. Oh shit! Good times. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the HWMF podcast. I'm your host Seth Frosi here with my heterosexual life mate Bob. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday. 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 I love Mondays. February the 24th. Quite the month. This is month fucking zoomed. I know. January was long as shit, but mm -hmm. February went by pretty quick. All right. Well, uh, I got to, we got to talk real quick. Mm -hmm. I became what I hate the most. It's hard not to notice it. I became the drama. I became the negativity. Every single thing that I fucking hate, I became. I did it. I saw that. I know. <laughs> We've built everything on being such positive, intense, positive people. Everything we do is always about being positive, being the best person you can be, being a hardworking motherfucker at all aspects. I bit on the negativity. The, the worst part of me came out, and, and it did. Uh, what was it? Episode 12. Episode 12, I was ranting about, uh, what are they, rock and roll preachers and mm -hmm. clout chasers. Yeah. I fucking hate clout chasing. I hate it. I hate it so much. Clout chasing is whenever somebody makes a video or, or posts uh, and they are posting about other people to gain their own notoriety or to gain more followers. It's like clickbaiting, but it's usually from a dramatic and negative standpoint. And I fucking hate it because we've built everything on completely the opposite. So I was fucking boasting about it and freaking out and just, I had a moment. I was emotional. I was on my period. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I should have drank some fucking cranberry juice. <laughs> I fucking hate cloud chasing. I don't like rock and roll preachers. So the guy that I, one of the guys that I mentioned in there, I didn't say his name. I didn't want fucking it going crazy, but was Greg Doucette. Now, Greg had made a video about me and keto. It pissed me off. I'm sensitive about keto. I'm probably more sensitive about keto than probably more sensitive about keto than fucking I don't know anything else. Why I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I suck at it so bad and I was mad and just <laughs> whatever you want to say. But the one thing that whenever I was ranting about it that I got ahead of myself and that the one thing that I am upset with myself about was whenever I personally attacked him, called him a low life shitty bodybuilder. Yeah. It's too far. Mm -hmm. It's too far. Whenever you're attacking someone's personal character based on your feelings about something they do that really doesn't have any bearing, thing, bearing on your life, ah, what are you going to fucking do? Yep. I, I shouldn't have did it. That's the one thing I do regret. Doesn't mean that I don't like the cloud chasing. So from that rant that I did, he went and made a video and proved the thing about the dramatic bullshit. Fucking went nuts. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I'm fake. I'm a liar. All this crazy fucking horse shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I sent Greg a message. I said, hey, bro. I said, give me a call. I said, I did cross the line. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have called you a low-life shitty bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Just uh, nothing he does really affects me. So I sent him a message, and uh, he sent me a message back. I told him, give me a call. He sent me a message back. And he said, you know, he told me about what he does, and he knows what he does. Yeah. He's, I mean... He's good at it. That doesn't mean I got to like it, 
but he knows exactly what he's done. He's a crazy educated person. I mean, I didn't know he was a teacher. He's a teacher for 11 years, all this shit. But he said that he didn't even mind that I called him names. I'm like, oh, okay. He was pissed that I actually, that I was discrediting him in my video, and calling him a liar. Hmm. I was like, I didn't call you a liar. You know, I was like, fuck. So that wasn't my intentions, but what he what took from it was that I was discrediting him because I said I was in keto when he said I wasn't in keto. I wasn't in keto the first seven days. Mm -hmm. No, because, I mean, I wasn't doing it the way I was supposed to do it. Yeah. But then later, I did get into keto. I did it for 28 days. Mm -hmm. And I did get into keto, and I went pee-pee on the stick, and it said I was in keto, and he went back and forth. I mean, there's a couple funny parts, <laughs> but... <laughs> Needless to say, we're, the whole lying bit was about keto and the discrediting of each other. So, this whole thing, bunch of negative shit. The shit that I fucking hate the most. All negative, all the bullshit. I fucking hate it. So, good has to come from it, Bob. Okay. Good has to come from it. Because like I say, from every shitty situation, anything bad that happens in your life, good has to come from it. It has to. If it doesn't, it stays negative. It does nothing but breed fucking people to just fucking go after it and dig harder and fucking create negativity in themselves, their lives, and then everything around it. Yeah. And it's bad. So, we got to do something. So, what are we doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Greg, you have an open invitation here to Pittsburgh to the facility. Mm. Yeah. We're going to throw down, motherfucker. We're not UFC fighters. We're not going to fight. Fuck, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I was going to say. No. Now you want to fight? I'm like, what are we doing? No. We're going to throw down. Fucking let's go. Let's go. All right. You know, so if this, if we're going to do the clout chasing shit, let's make it fun. Let's fucking give a show. Yeah. Let's put a show on, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Wait. We'll fucking throw it out in the gym. He's, he's IFBB pro. I mean, I caught him a low life shitty bodybuilder. No, the dude worked really fucking hard to get where he is. Yeah. Everybody, I mean, if you do that, fuck, it's hard to. It's, one of the fucking hardest thing in the world to do is become an IFBB pro. It's yeah. fucking really difficult. Yep. Dedicate everything to it. Let's go in the gym. We'll throw down. We'll run each other if, through a workout. If we can get two in, I'll run you through one of mine. You run me through one of yours. We'll see. Or we go back and forth between sets or exercise. Just fucking go at it. Mm -hmm. Then, come on in. Podcast. Let's sit down at the podcast table. You can fucking school me on keto. You can school me on everything. You can make me look like a moron. I'll ask you a million motherfucking questions. Mm -hmm. I know there's a ton of people out there that have a ton of questions. A ton of questions about dieting, keto, the whole fucking nine. Yep. But I do have stipulations. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparent, <laughs> Shane said that he was busting my balls because I'm an undisciplined dieter. And I fucking... <laughs> I mean, I am. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I eat too many fucking snacks and drink way too much whiskey and Pop-Tarts and gummy bears. So, stipulation, you got to eat a shitty snack on the podcast with us and rate it. <laughs> okay. You got, everybody that comes, that all the guests that we have lined up, we have snacks lined up for the guests that we're bringing on. Yep. So, motherfucker, you're part of it. Okay. I'm going to make you eat shitty snacks. You got to. Okay? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> and got to have a couple drinks. Got to have a drink with us. Mm -hmm. Got to shoot the shit. We're going to end it. It'll be fun. There's got to be one up there he likes. Has to be. There's got to be one. Even if he's got to try them all. I'll try them all with you. It'll be a fucking hell of a time. <laughs> I know you're up for it. I'm down. You do it every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so the good has to come from this. So if we're going to do it, let's fucking go all in. Let's fucking have a, have a ball. Yeah. End it with a nice steak, maybe some guns. Good times. The Western PA way. There's got to be good that comes from this, and that's where it is. So, open invitation. We'll clear the schedule for it. I know you're a busy guy. Motherfucker, we're busy all the time, but there's got to be good. So, if we're going to do the clout chasing, let's at least, at least make it positive. We could sit here for five minutes and compliment each other back and forth. You can compliment me about my tall, dark, handsome stature. <laughs> I can tell me as the voice of a blend of Morgan Freeman and Samuel L. Jackson. It'll be good times. Man. Yeah. It's quite the voice. I, I can only imagine. <laughs> There's got to be good that comes from this. Yeah. And I'm not going to go back and forth with the negativity because I let, the, I let myself get the best of me. Yep. It happens. What are you going to do? So I'm excited. I think this will be a good time. Yeah, I think so too. Because I don't think that he's a light character. Mm -hmm. He's also very animated. So I talk more with my hands than anything. We might slap each other and not even know. I was going to say, I might have to back up from the table. You two fucking waving <laughs> arms and shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> so good's got to come from it. I love it. Cool. Uh, but yeah, good times. Right on. Yeah. Um, all right, now let's move on. How was your weekend? It was pretty good. I saw you did a lot of stuff at the house. Yeah, finally. How'd that feel? We finally had two days in Western PA with like some, just no rain and decent weather and it was good. fucking blue bluebird skies. So yeah, we just. Uh, they just finished up a uh, brand new septic system, got put in at the house last week, finished up on Friday. So just cleaning up the yard, getting all the shit picked up, and mm-hmm. at least as much as I can. Made a giant fucking fire on the front yard. Good times. Yeah. Almost took my brows off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you throw gasoline on it? No. What do you mean? Bro, What's I don't need it. You? I don't need it. I, I am so good at building a fire. Even though it's fun. It's just fun to throw gas on a fire. I know. I know. I like, I don't know. I like to take the primitive approach. And use, like, the long-stemmed Bic lighter. And I don't. I'm going to fucking throw gas to start it. I'm going to throw gas on it later just to look at it. We had our we had our Christmas tree out in the middle of the pile. <laughs> I saw you burn. I'm like, where the fuck did the Christmas tree go? Yeah, it's been so, two months. So it's been sitting out there. It was dry as fuck. So, like, I had the fire roaring, and the last thing I threw on was the Christmas tree, and it went <laughs> and Needles go up in yeah. a second. It was, like, making all sorts of sounds, and uh, now we did that. I bought some guns. Bought I guns on that, Saturday. Too. Got the Glock 43X and the uh, SIG uh, P365. Nice oh, little yeah. tiny concealed S- carry. Similar guns, both nines, right? Yes. Both nine millimeter. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The SIG, actually, you could buy uh, an extended mag. actually has like 12 rounds. And it's fucking, dude, it's this big. Really? Yeah, 12 rounds in the mag. Yeah. Man. Yep. Really cool gun. The. Did you bring it with you? No, I didn't. You also set up the, uh, uh, what the fuck? The Galatech. The Galatech. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's in the kitchen, right by the back door. It's awesome. Bro, their shit's really nice. It, it's, it's expensive. So Galatech, it's uh, uh, well, uh, wall mounting systems for your firearms, your accessories, all your shit. It's, there's other companies out there. They're, they're expensive. Galatech is. Yeah, they're a little pricey, but... Dude, their shit is so high end and so easy to mount. The instructions that comes with all the screws to mount the, the bitch, the screws to mount the attachments to the fucking board. So it's I mean, high I, end. I follow them, but I never went and looked. I just saw their shit and we it thought it was cool. You told me about it, so I follow it. And watch, it. I never looked into buying it. You told me I have to, but yeah, I didn't look at the price. Yeah, is it what was how big's yours? What what size is you and how much did it cost? Yeah, so I think they're like roughly. 25 inch by 25 inch squares oh so two foot so i got two of them they stack top and bottom oh, so you got two foot by four foot right yep mm-hmm. how much was it i want to say that entire package because i got all the attachments then too were the attachments with it or you had to buy extra no you buy them you buy all the attachments separate so For you, whatever you, so it's like you get a board mm-hmm. and then you get the attachments you want on your board yeah right okay yep. so you can buy the paneling systems they all interlock really cool and then uh, you can get rifle, uh, rifle mounts, rifle mounts, mag handguns, mounts, yep, handgun mounts. Mm-hmm. How much did it all cost you? What'd you spend on your twenty-four by twenty-four? You got two rifles. You, I mean, if you don't look, everybody go look at what you put it on your Instagram or just the stories. Uh, no, it's on my. It's on. Uh, on I don't know. Account? It was on my stories. Yeah. But uh, okay, so, so the full it was. With shipping, which it was sixty-five dollars with shipping because everything's big and heavy. It's metal. Oh, fuck, sixty-five in shipping. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was four hundred and eighteen dollars. That's not bad. It's not. It isn't bad. It's but, a display. Mm-hmm. It is a nice display. I, I thought it was cool. That's why. Yeah, you know, it's like really it. nice. It mounts really nice. It has a magnetic like uh, trim to put around all the edges, so you don't see any of the screws and all the shit. No shit. So they do it right. Really fucking cool. Everything went a- up, and it it's not cheap, dude. It's all high end fucking metal. Because in my cardio room, I want to make my cardio room like also where I put my guns. Yeah. I have so. <laughs> I was I was doing cardio and I this weekend I cleaned at my house like I was alone. Yeah, weekend alone. It was kind of scary. I kind of freaked myself out a couple times. I know times. I had to check in on you. I, just, I was like, oh, what are you doing right now? Bro, I have never been, I have not been alone in at least. Bro, it's been a year, over a year since I have been alone in my. I don't think I've ever been alone in that house. Yeah, it's been a, a, almost two years. Yeah, it'll be two years this summer. Yep, I haven't been alone in that house. <laughs> So, uh, but no, I was downstairs cleaning stuff out in a, in a cardio room and I had all my guns out and I'm like, yeah, I definitely, and I, and I was talking about the Gallo tech and I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I got to get a fucking giant wall mount. I got to get the whole fucking wall done. For I have sure. way too many. I got a couple of old AKs, SKS, 
all kind of cool shit. I'm like, why is this not fucking displayed in here? For just just for me to feel cool when I'm doing cardio. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I want to yeah. do. Just feel cool when I'm doing cardio. But um, no, yeah, on their on their Instagram, you can go see all the laid out. Do they have rooms like and shit. pre-bought, pre-packaged designs, possibly, or um, you have to come up with your own ideas? You kind of have to come up with your own idea. I mean, everything's very. It's kind of like one base model for the wall. They have the the squares, to, so you could build like a nine by nine or whatever. Oh, okay. Then they have some that are more wide than they are tall, and then they have like thin strips too. So you can kind of configure whatever you want. If you're not creative like myself, you're gonna have a hell of a time. Or really indecisive like me, right? You're gonna have a hell of a time. Well, I was. I'll probably call you over, be like, "Help me design this," <laughs> and then you'll, and then I'll like tell you exactly what I want to do, and then you'll be like, "You should just do that, dumb fuck." Yep. Well, I was indecisive where I wanted everything at, and I'm uh-huh. still not sure about it. It looks really good. It Thanks. looks like you had this plan like really well. Well, I, I did. I, I looked at each. You got to look at the attachments and everything, or the mounts, before you like you look at the panels or what you want in your room, because you can have the rifle mounted horizontally flush. You can have it vertically flush or turned out this way. So like I have them flat up against because we walk through there. I'm going to put I'm going to put I, I was thinking about the gun compartments. Yeah. I'm going to put a mount. I'm going to put mounts in my closets mm-hmm. like in, throughout my house and then by the door and all this stuff cuz they do all that stuff. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it's really cool. Good for you. That's exciting. Thanks. I I had that shit for bro. I ordered a that while. a long time. It's been sitting in the kitchen on the kitchen floor. She was so pissed. <laughs> She's like, "Are we ever going to put this up?" She's like, "I told you you could put it up." been what three months oh fuck i ordered it december 15th <laughs> 2019 yeah nice. it's been a while <laughs> i mean i can't i can't say that i'm any better but i finally uh, there's been a picture that fell off the wall yeah and i haven't hung it bro it's legitimately been like five six months mm-hmm. and hannah was like she left and i'm like okay seth this is your weekend to accomplish everything at this house you need to fucking do it because she stopped even talking about it if she stopped talking about it, she gave up hope. And I'm like, yeah. it's one fucking picture. So I hung that picture and I put up a bunch of other stuff. Um, cleaned out I, all my little piggy piles throughout the house. Got yeah. out of there. The only thing that's left is my bedroom. I got to clean out all the shit in the bedroom, all the boxes and all just the stuff that I had stored away. And I keep putting things in there because I'm still selecting through shirts and hoodies and yeah. transitioning. Mm-hmm. So got to get it all out of there. But it's good. We start good. building the nursery soon. It'll be good. Yeah. No, overall, wonderful weekend. I walk my property a bunch. Yeah. I realize I'm going to buy a quad. Got to. I don't have a quad. How the fuck do I have a quad? I have no idea. I'm, I feel like an asshole. So, I mean, I'm excited. Probably get, uh, probably get some message, messages on recommendations. Please do. Send yeah. over your recommendations. Tell me what you think. I, don't, I think I'm going to... I'll buy one now <laughs> and one later. Yeah. I don't think I should get a really fast one first. I had a fast one when I was younger. Yeah. Might have flipped it a couple times. Quads are easy to flip. <laughs> yes. So uh, I think I, I need to get, uh, I just need to get something to do some stuff around the property. I'm going to, just going to go fuck it. We'll go, 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 go get one. I, I, fire, I fired up every machine on my property yesterday. Did you? Every single one, <laughs> except the big tractor. I just, I knew that wasn't going to start. It's got to be I dead. I saw you tinker and like, I saw your stories and you were revving everything. I'm like, all right. I did that to every single piece of equipment I had. I was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, <laughs> if Bob's alone and he's pretty stoned up, he is going through like a little child. And I'm like, but this is what you're supposed to do as a kid. Yeah. As a, as I, that's why I want a garage so bad. I just want to be able to go in there and sit there and vroom vroom with my fucking trucks. Mm-hmm. Like that's all I want to do. I, like as a kid, I remember playing with cars. I remember playing with dump trucks. I remember playing with all this shit. And I'm like, now I'm like, oh, so these are real things. I'd love to have them. Like <laughs> yeah. I was a matchbox car guy. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my, look at this. I'm like now in this position, I'm older. I'm like, I kind of want those things. Mm-hmm. Like I want a Bronco. Always, my dad had a Bronco. Fuck. My, my dad Why? had a fucking because my dad had one. It's nostalgic. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get one. Yeah, you know what? That too. I need quad recommendations and then a uh, Ford Bronco. I want like a 1994 to 96 Ford Bronco in good shape. Can't get them from up here because they're all rusted out. So somebody down in the south. Yeah. I was looking in Texas, Arizona. <laughs> Anybody has any ideas or any good stuff? Throw them in my DMs. Slide in there. Keep the dick pics to yourself and show me cool Broncos. (laughs) 
right? Yeah. It's well worth it. I, I mean, it would be cool. It would be. Cool. I showed Hannah Bronco last night. What'd she say? Because I was sitting, there, I was sitting there on my phone after the kids went to sleep because they came home and we were there. We were. I didn't. I put my phone down for like six hours yesterday. Yeah. Never do that. I didn't see the kids all weekend, so they came home. We had a good time, and then Hannah and I are sitting there, and she's like, "What are you looking at?" I'm like, Broncos, and she's like, "You mean like those ugly, shitty vehicles?" And I'm like, "They're not ugly." So oh went, man, <laughs> ninety four Ford Bronco. Okay, pull them up, Shane. <laughs> What color do you want? I don't care. I want a dark one. I can't get the white. Do you want a two-tone? My dad had the two-tone. He had black and uh, he had an Eddie Bauer edition, black and tan. Bro, that that one right there. Yeah, that. Look at that. Ah, man. Oh, I love that shit. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck yeah. (laughs) Look at that thing. Look at the red one. The red and the, the red and the <laughs> Is there anything special about these things? Oh, they're gas guzzlers. Okay, so <laughs> are they known? Are they six known? Mile, six mile a gallon fucking gas guzzler. Are they known for any kind of performance? Or no, it's just a Bronco. It's like my dick, short and fat. <laughs> Can't go too fast. Gets a little excited sometimes. Dumps a ton of fuel, <laughs> but it gets the job done. Oh yeah, fucking oh, I Broncos. Like, I like that blue and white two tone. So somebody, I saw somebody said that they have the OJ Simpson special, and I was like, kind of want to buy because he said that. Bro, that okay, that's kind of cool. You like that? Put a surfboard on top. <laughs> so, bro, <laughs> where, where are you going? You going to fucking down down Allegheny? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like you either take that or a little like buggy to the beach with a surfboard on top. So, so take look for one with the cab off. The cap comes off. That cab on the back comes off. Yeah, dude. Fucking like a truck convertible. A yeah, truck. Right there. Look at it. Look, no, to the left. Down one. No, go back. Go back. Gather. Yeah, Over to the left. Second one down. Down one. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's cool as fuck. I love that shit. That's the truck I want. There you go, Shane. Let's go. I'll buy two for him. I'll, I'll throw in. Yeah, let's get it at the end of the year for you. I, I keep putting money aside. What I keep, what I like, Hannah never sees the finances. Sorry, Shane. No, you're good. Hannah never sees the finances. So I keep putting money aside, and I, uh, I mean, she just doesn't look. So I keep taking stuff and putting it aside for me to do dumb shit like this. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited because it's like a per, like <laughs> it'll be that thing. Like she'll be like, "What'd you do?" I'm like, "Like I'll come home with," it. and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh no, I was allowed." Like are you gonna I call- save money for. Are you going to call on the way home? Hey, hey babe. Come outside. So, Come outside. I'm so, pulling up. So here's the problem. Like, if you don't get these up here, you go down south to get them. Because then the rust and all the bullshit never yeah. got it. And usually there's somebody took care of one. You'd probably pick one up for anywhere like 15 to 20 grand. Mm-hmm. And um, so uh, I'm gonna ha- I'd am gonna. i have to have it trucked up here. That's the other portion yeah. I have. Because what are you going to do? Drive six, six, six miles a gallon from Texas? Expensive. <laughs> expensive fuel bill for the ride home. Uh, but, um, yeah. Oh, look, they're so cool. I'm a sucker for him. What are you, it, what it's am, okay. It's pretty cool. Listen, it's just something I like. I know. My dad had one. We used to go fishing in it. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised he still doesn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. My dad, the one time he got... <laughs> fucking dude is a riot. Dude's just crazy. Too much. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I want one. Um... What else you do this weekend? You had two full day, almost three full days alone. I slept pretty well the one night. It was great. I was all fired up from the the, the Wilder Fury fight. Yeah, it was wild. That was fucking. Great I fight. I tell you what, dude. Those humans were alien esque. Mm-hmm. They are so big, it's unreal. Yep, bro. I'm five foot six, two hundred and like twenty seven pounds right now. Mm-hmm. Deontay Wilder is six foot seven, two thirty one. He is over a foot taller than me, and weighs the same amount. Mm-hmm. Bro, he's a foot taller than me. You're a fucking, Legit. you're a fucking alien. And then, fucking Tyson Fury, six foot nine, two hundred seventy one pounds, some shit like that, seventy one, seventy three. Mm-hmm. Bro, like his arm is legitimately three quarters of my body. Like, one of them. Yeah. How the fuck are you even... Like, bro, I feel like if I was here and like, look, I'm halfway across, <laughs> halfway across the table. He's punching me in the face. Oh, definitely. 
he yeah he's definitely reaching out and touching your nose with his fist bro that's nuts those they were i was just astonished at the size of them mm -hmm. like uh, uh i was sitting there watching the fights and i just could not believe like how big they were because whenever they get around their trainer or they get around like a normal size person like five foot eight five foot nine five foot ten and they're in their room and they're like and he's got his arms around people whenever they were huddling praying and I'm like, bro, the this dude is so fucking big, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what even and Kim said. Like the 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 ref, she's like, oh, the ref's really small. I'm like, no, he's normal. He's a <laughs> very like a normal, normal stature guy. guy. Yeah, probably like your size. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> bro, I couldn't believe it. That's what. And and not only that. Okay, so you see big people like Mike, six foot five. Mm -hmm. These guys are. Six foot seven, six foot nine, and they are fucking killers. Yeah. They're, they're, they train to beat the fuck out of each other. Like, bro, their mindset is to fuck you up. Not only are you like, a, they're like, I mean, I, they're like gladiators. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what we're watching. I mean, that's why I'm always excited that they get paid and stuff and all the fighters do because they're entertaining to us. But motherfucker, they are freaks. Yeah. I couldn't. I was so blown away by it all. I no, couldn't believe how big they were. Yeah, and like they're they're, it's they're so functional with that height and weight. Like that's what blows my mind. Like you got some of these big dudes in the NBA, right? They're athletic, but they're really tall. But they're not like super super athletic. And they're not. They're fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're fighting. Yep. Punching each other, bro. Physics. The, that's what Deontay Wilder, for as big as he is, he nobody can understand like the fact that he's a smaller guy, quote unquote, like thinner, but packs that punch. So his his whole thing is he defies physics in a way because the weight doesn't add up to his punching power. Mm -hmm. But bro, we're talking about like the length, the the distance, how it all works. Unreal. Yeah. I just the whole time I just couldn't imagine fucking trying to fight one of these people. No, I've I've never really watched a fight like that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't grow up watching boxing, so, like, all the big prime-time heavyweight fights. Like I never Evander really... Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, they I, had they had Mike Tyson, those three yeah. up there. I mean, I've seen clips, but never watched a full fight. So then to see these two big fucking dudes, my God. Scary. Scary big. I was floored. I, w I tell you what, like, I just added something to my bucket list, and I'm kind of pissed because this what happened was a very few and far between. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not going to see these guys go at it like this. They might do a number three. But, like, bro, I want to go to one. Mm -hmm. I want to go to a big-time boxing fight. Yeah. That made boxing prize fighting, like the heavyweights, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. I want to go to it. I want to. Yeah. It's on my bucket list now. And, I mean, bro, the distance between the last big-time fights to now is a lot. Like, mm -hmm. it's half a generation. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I want to go. As far as those big, scary, scary knockouts. Yeah. yeah. I, and I, it ain't going to be cheap. Uh-uh. Probably be as much as my Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Like, I'll start if you, if you don't want to be up in the fucking news. That's what I mean. I want to be into it because, dude, it was so. It, I was, I was in awe by the by the whole thing. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't watched a, I haven't watched boxing in so long since Evander Holyfield and Tyson and shit like that when I was like nine. Yeah, this was nuts. Man, you watch it, Shane? I didn't no. actually. No, he's too busy. Too busy getting, getting pussy. pussy. <laughs> How can we get mad at him about this now? Shane's girl's like, Jesus Christ. She's like, more like I was getting dick. <laughs> Man, I'm so proud of you, Shane. I am too. I mean, it's like, like, it's a... like our son, like we're raising him up the right way. <sighs> fucking right. Oh my God, I'm fucking great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You'll either get to go to you'll get to go to uh, a fight, regardless. I mean, it's going to be Fury Wilder three, or it's going to be Fury Joshua. I think I I, I overheard uh, them say like there might be a third fight. He has thirty that. days to say to decide. Wilder has thirty days. Well, why thirty? Um, Wait, is there like a stipulation on a title fight? Yeah, I think I think it's a. Th I don't know. It's probably the contract or something, but I know it's 30 days. Oh, so they might have both signed it previously to the fight to see whoever loses has 30 days to ask for or say that they want it. Yeah. That's why everybody's up Wilder's ass so quick. Yeah. Because they were like, I'm like, bro, the dude just got fucking his eardrum they, busted. They saw him bleeding out of his ear, and 
Um, would rather throw in the towel for this fight with hopes of a third fight or, dude, you let him get his ass beat more and then there's no third fight because he can't recover. Bro, you know? That bursted eardrum yep. threw him way the fuck off. Yep. Dude was pacing for... He did cardio for a couple hours in the, in the fucking room, was pacing. You know, he's an animal, but Fury knew exactly what he was going to do. He oh, was yeah. very well calculated. He knew what he was going in there to do. He had a plan. He executed well. And he's I, funny. He's a riot. Like the fucking smirk on his face. I'm like, dude, this is the biggest night of your fucking life. And he, mm -hmm. it, just the dude the just camera. had no worries and just had a plan. Mm -hmm. He had a plan. He trained for it. He knew. I mean, this is what they do. Like, this is all. It's it, man. They're putting them. They're putting their lives on the line. The dude just got his eardrum busted the fuck open. Bro, if you have a bad ear infection, bro, it, it's hard just keeping your shit together. Mm-hmm. This dude's eardrum got busted in the biggest fight of his life against a fucking seven foot tall monster. It's nuts. It's how, crazy. How about the vision on these athletes? So, like, you have Patrick Mahomes saying about going to Disney, and then you got Fury tweeting in 2013 that he was going to knock Wilder out. Hmm. That's nuts. So, it's, I mean, those are things that people, uh, I mean, if they never would have did those things, they would have died. But, like, those are the, the visions of those people, and then they continue to go after it. It's incredible. Was their first fight a, like a similar exchange of because it was like very one sided? Uh, yet yeah, no, it was it was back and forth. Fury's a better boxer. Well, that's what I mean. Was it was it similar in their first fight? And Wilder just caught him at the end. Is that it? Caught him, and then they they referred. They said something in the fight like whenever he caught him in the first one. Mm -hmm. After that, Fury went at him. He went after him and didn't like back away and get nervous. He brought the fight to Wilder, and that's whenever he noticed that he had him. Gotcha. Like it was a draw because Fury beat him the entire fight from a boxing standpoint. Mm -hmm. Wilder knocked him down. That's what I mean. Like it was, it was still a very similar approach mm -hmm. to the I fight. Believe, and, and, and I believe that Fury got became better of a boxer from it mm -hmm. and figured him out. Yeah. Because that's been tight, that's been Deontay Wilder's biggest problem. I don't know a lot about boxing. I'm just repeating what I heard was that he <clears throat> was that he's not a great technical boxer the bro can just throw a punch and knock you the fuck out instantly mm -hmm. like he melts people melts them <laughs> and I I mean Tyson Fury <laughs> dude's a dude's six foot nine mass monster his fucking head is huge it's not like his head looks like yours on a seven foot on a six nine person no He's a tough fuck. Mm -hmm. He's he's a tough son of a bitch, and he just had a plan. The uh, Barstool, um, Dave Portnoy released a pizza review with Tyson Fury. Yeah, I saw yesterday that. after the fight. He st he had to stand on a ladder. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so that just gives you the perception of how big he is. I love it. It's cool. It's exciting. <clears throat> yep, I didn't go to sleep. But, well, that was the night I didn't sleep. I was up till like three o'clock. I was so fucking amped up mm -hmm. after it, and then I watched. Uh, I watched like seven movies over the weekend too. Nice. I had one in the house when I was working, mm -hmm. and then I had one. I watched a couple that night, uh, and then uh, what movie did I watch? Miss Doubtfire. That was on. Great movie. I know. I saw it come on. I was like, I love Robin Williams. Such a cool movie. Heartfelt, Adeline loves it. It's one of Adeline's favorite movies. Um, <laughs> Kim really likes that movie. She always quote like I, stupid little things from I it. I fucking love Robin Williams. Yeah, me too. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. he, there was a couple clips of him in a stand-up that was just fucking outrageous. Mm -hmm. Fucking hilarious. Um, and my parents were big Robin Williams fans, so we watched his movies a lot. And uh, so that was on. I just I couldn't turn it off, so I put that on while I was cleaning the house. And then, ah. Um, oh, my mom told me to watch a movie called The Green Book. It had Viggo Mortensen and uh, and I can't remember the other guy's name. It was about it was about this uh, a black p piano player back in the fucking sixties. Mm -hmm. Might have been the fifties or sixties. I can't remember. Look that up when it was when the movie The Green Book was based upon. So it was back then, but it was about uh, this black guy's a piano player, crazy crazy great piano player. Yeah, there it is. 1962. Yeah, so he ended up, and uh, he travels around, and he plays gigs everywhere, but he was a classical piano player, and he wanted to go travel through the South mm -hmm. and play all these venues in the South, 
during the fucking one of the most racist times in the South. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he needed somebody to take him through there. That was a pretty tough guy. Keep him safe. Make sure no shit happened. Mm -hmm. And Vigo Mortensen is like a uh, he's a mafia mafia esque bouncer guy. Does a lot of jobs for the mafia, but he's just simple guy. Mm -hmm. and he's not that smart. But uh, he ends up getting the job to take him through the South. And the Green Book is the book in which uh, all the information where the on only coloreds can can go. Gotcha. Okay. So it was all about that. So there was a bunch of uh, going back and forth between race and uh, all that. But no, it was a fucking awesome movie. Mm. Loved it. Nice. Yeah, it was really cool. Like the whole. So there was little things like uh, it was wild because the black guy, Doctor Shirley, is his name. He only drank uh, Cuddy Sark. Scotch as well. Okay. Horrible. Have you ever had Cuddy Sark? No. Bro, it's disgusting. <laughs> so that's all he drank in all the and all throughout the movie. But he wasn't like a typical black guy. He didn't understand he didn't have a whole lot of black culture. Like in the movie, the dude never ate fucking fried chicken, all these little things. And meanwhile, Vigo is all he does throughout the whole movie is eat and smoke. Bro, he's either smoking a cigarette or eating or both the whole movie. Okay. <laughs> That's part of the funny part of it. Yeah. And he was astonished that the dude never had fried chicken. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> so there was a bunch of there was a bunch of parts in there, but um, uh, the culture and the in the relationship and the friendship that those two gained mm -hmm. between each other was fucking awesome. I couldn't recommend a better movie just to uh, from a feel good and just overall good, well done movie. I loved it. The dude never stops eating. Never stops eating. Like, what's he eating? Just edit everything? Bro, you name it, he's eating it. <laughs> Sandwiches, pizza, fried chicken. He talks about food. He The whole movie, dude, it's it's a riot. But it's pretty cool because uh, he ends up gaining a whole, lot, a whole new respect. They both do for each other, their mindsets, because Vigo in the movie, it's not smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a silly wop dago. Yeah. You know, just and I can relate to it because that's all I grew up with my dad's side of the family. I'm like, oh yeah, here it is. So a really good movie. I liked it a lot. Nice. Yeah. Other than that, was it? The girls did well at gymnastics. It's good. Hannah said they liked me not being there. Really? I was kind of heartbroken. What just, like a pressure thing for yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah, because I get intense and I get all excited yeah. and all this. They, and, yeah, uh, they feel it. And Hannah <laughs> said Adeline, Adeline was so much calmer. And I'm like, fuck, so does that mean I like don't go to him? She's like, kind of recommend you almost don't. And yeah. I'm like, fuck me, dude. I'm like, I'm getting flushed about it now. I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. She said she was so calm. She fucking, she put together the meat. She fell on bars. But she said that like everything was so good, mm -hmm. um, killed it on beam. She took second overall. She's like she would have fucking won if she didn't have the fall on on bars. Yeah. Um, but overall, kid just had it. Emmy took. Uh, Emmy fell on bars too. Yeah. But she ended up taking second to the same girl Quinn, who's also in the gym. Yeah. The level twos are. They 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 got first. Right? I want That's everybody lovely. to see. Yeah, they, of course they take first. Yeah. <laughs> I want everybody to see these little girls because they're so fucking adorable. Yeah. Like when they go out there, it's so cool. It's so wonderful to watch. It's like the purest thing about sports. Mm -hmm. It's like right when you see young kids getting good at sports and they're and you see everything starting to click in their head, whether whatever age it is per that sport, bro. It's so cool. Because they're just little adorable little girls, and they they know they got to do a good job, and they know they got to keep their toes pointed. It's so cool. Only shitty part with the uh, the weekend was Natalia, yeah. fucking savage of the gym. Yeah, she fucking sprained her ankle. Ooh, yeah, fuck. She's out for a little bit. Yeah, Hannah called off the meet for the older girls level weights. Mm -hmm. um, no more meets for the rest of the year till states. Yep, she's canceling them. Yeah. That way they can just get prepared because she's like the level weights are ready. Mm -hmm. The other girls need still need to get work. Just uh, the 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 competition. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's a lot of stress on little. It's kids. been an intense month for them. Bro, it varies. Intense five five weeks, six weeks. So I mean, and that's how it goes. That's the competition season. Yeah. It's the constant scrutiny. It's constant in front of the judges. It's constant. Yeah. The constant work, work on this, make the because that's why they train so hard in the summertime, and they have to know their timing, and they have to know how everything works, and they just continue to get better. Because, bro, it was like whenever Natalia got hurt, she got hurt before floor started, and then after floor they had to do vault. Mm -hmm. And Hannah's like, hey, if you guys don't feel comfortable, because you're mind fucked. She didn't mm -hmm. say mind fucked, but if you guys are all fucked up from, I keep saying, <laughs> stop swearing, Seth. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> you ready? If you guys are all messed if up. If you guys are not mentally there, <laughs> let's not do fault. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, if it was me out there, I'd be like, you guys fucked up or not? You guys cool? Let's yeah. fuck this thing up. Like, you guys feel all right about this? What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so, uh, but they said they were cool and they both had good vaults. Yeah. Um, but no. Uh, so we'll see. Take I guess that's Yacobi. one of those. I guess that's one of those things too. Like having so many meets one after another, like it that does keep the intensity up and in like your competitive side. So I guess that is important, right? Very. Like I you, you need to have feel that level. Again, this is where I kind of eat my own fucking words with Hannah. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, these kids need a break in between. She's like, no. She's like, they need to keep this up. They need to have this feeling beca because the goal with these girls is to put them in these situations because if they go to college, like Brynn, Natalia, and Adeline, well, they all got a chance to go to college. Like, they're fucking stupid good gymnasts. If they continue to progress the way they are and, like, they all have that, they all got the hunger to work harder, they know what they have to do. So if there's, that pressure is not applied to them, they, yeah. won't, they won't be able to make it. I mean, they came home. Uh, whenever they got home, I said, I missed them so much. I was a mess. Yeah. I missed them, and I was like, I'm putting the phone down when they come home. They came home. I was like, all right. So for like six hours, I didn't pick up my phone. I was just I was, I was with them. And um, a couple other stories about that. But we ended up watching a gymnastics meet, too. And Adeline was into it. And she like watching them. It was UCLA versus Utah. Mm -hmm. Both were tied for third place in the nation. Like big-time gymnasts. Yeah. Like the best, the best in the world. Best in the country. There's some other ones, but mm -hmm. top gymnast in the world. <clears throat> and she's into it, and she's like, I want to do this. And I'm like, okay, kid's feeling it. She needs, she likes it. Um, but, yeah, I sat with Emmy for like three hours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I finally, I haven't done this. I feel terrible, but I have not sat there for that long and just kind of soaked her in. Mm -hmm. Haven't done it in a long time felt really shitty because we work so much yeah it, this weekend also reminded me that i kind of need to i need to take a little bit more time to myself with the family mm -hmm. i'm with them a lot but i'm not there I, i'm not enough mm -hmm. and i need to make sure that i take a little bit more time with them because i sat down with emmy and she schooled me on a phone emmy knows more about her phone than I do about my own phone. My <laughs> you learn a couple old. things? Bro, this kid, her, the way her mind works was scaring me. Yeah. Scaring me, it's so fast. It's almost not satisfied. If it's not satisfied immediately, it's gone. We're playing games, we're doing this, she's doing on the TikToks. Bro, TikTok's fucking wild too, by the way. Yeah. Fucking wild. Mm -hmm. Big as fuck. It's really big. I, what, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like do a TikTok of me like lifting weights? I don't know. I don't know what what it's on there. So like, what I I don't really know the perp. I've never like Googled what's the purpose of TikTok. Nor do I think there is one specific thing. But if I were to think of you doing TikTok, it would be you conversating with yourself back and forth. That's all people do on there. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a lot that are funny as fuck. By the way, like there's a couple comedians that have crazy pages. Yeah. There's one comedian that was going back and forth. I don't know if it was TikTok or not. I was on there, but uh, I think I was on like Friday night. I was looking at it, or maybe it was Sunday morning. Um, it, was, it was like these two puppets going back and forth about Mexicans and Americans. Like they were making fun of each other, like the same puppets, just yeah. busting each other's balls. I'm like, this is funny as fuck. That, that's, what they, that's what they do on there, though. Like, I didn't know. I don't, it's like a fake dialogue with... Of yourself. Of yourself, with yourself, maybe one other person. Am I, is that right, Shane? Yeah, that's right. All right. I think you should make a TikTok. Maybe I'll start one. Yeah. I'll pretend to be Seth. There you go. On my own TikTok. <laughs> so, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like like your version on TikTok. So I'll do the same morning routines. <laughs> Slightly different though. I can't wait to watch it. Everyone's gonna be like, all right, when are you starting? Yeah, they're yeah, ready. here we go. <laughs> Can't wait because there's probably a couple of things that people don't know that they're going to howl about mm -hmm. and you making fun of me, <laughs> but not just in impersonating me, <laughs> not making fun. That's just how dumb I am sometimes. Just, just who he is. <laughs> what he does. <laughs> oh, no, I got a ride. Adeline also, yeah, she was showing me the, because after that I was like, after I was astonished by TikTok, I was like, so who's the big people on TikTok? Bro, oh, they're just. They're just people that just hit it. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything more extravagant than the other. And that's what Adeline was trying to figure out. She's like, why is this person so popular? But this person is popular. And I'm like, something clicked at the right time, at the right moment. And she was able to continue to push and capitalize on it. 
And that's the part where it's like people were wondering what Instagram was for and all this, and then uh, and then it just happened and it became what it is. And well, yeah, I don't I don't know what the there's inner... no real direction. Everybody has their own angle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the it. interface looks like. Like I don't know how it works. <laughs> Like how 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 are things how are things uh, found, like Instagram's hashtags and and all that. I think there is hashtags. There, there is, is well, yeah, yeah. similar. There is, it's similar similar so that because the crossover between so many different so that there's the crossover. That's whenever there was hashtags on Facebook, people were like why and well they were just double posting. Yeah. So I believe a similar thing can happen on TikTok, but I don't think I don't know if there's not there yet. Well, I I see and hear so many just random random people with a random video going viral in like a few hours with no following and no anything. So I'm just trying to figure out how. Tick. Yeah, there's there's trending hashtags and everything. Yeah. It's it's almost like Instagram was at the very beginning yeah. with, with you can discover hashtags. Okay. TikTok's yeah. going mm -hmm. to be, TikTok is already hitting. Gary vee has been talking about it for what, like nine months, mm -hmm. yeah. 10 months and it fucking smashed it. I just don't have an angle. I don't, what am I supposed to, it's like, what am I supposed to do, lift weights or? Just do it all wrong. I should just, I should. I, <laughs> just do it how no one does it. I'll just have a conversation with myself every morning when I'm taking my morning shit. How's that sound? That'll be my like, angle. Hey, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> like you just keep looking back and forth. Brothers. That's all they do. It's, a, it, it's, it's cool because I got it. Adlin, I got schooled by Adeline on her phone as well. Mm -hmm. she's, she's, her phone is crazy organized, by the way. Like she has, she, she it's. I can't even explain it. Like, I don't even like her apps and stuff? Yeah, like, her, her apps, everything on her phone is stupid organized. Hmm. Like my Mine's pretty organized, too. No, she makes you look like me. I don't know. Yes, she I does. I got subfolders and shit. This kid, this kid will blow your doors off. Damn it. Yeah. I thought of you when I saw it, and then I said, this is way further. <laughs> really? Oh, the, my it's God. It's extensive, then. Her? Let me mine see your phone. Mine looks awesome. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that after I saw this. Give me... Just don't go in my photos. <laughs> oh, no. She eats you alive. Come on. You are very organized, but I'd probably say she has a little more little more edge to hers. And it's it's too organized. It looks like too much. But then whenever she's moving her fingers, I was like, oh, boy. I'd say my first page is organized. Oh, yeah. You got to see. Next time you see her, you want to see her phone. Uh, <laughs> all right. You want to hear some revealing shit? We'll get the kid, kid moving on from the kids. Yeah. So Hannah was away. Uh -huh. and I was all feeling my Cheerios after the shower, and I took a couple dick pics. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I was, you know, we're away. Yeah. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Uh -huh. I was feeling alone, and so I did this, and then I'm like, and I'm like, I'm not sending her a dick pic right now, because like she's with the girls in the hotel, all this, and Hannah is very bad about leaving her phone anywhere. Yeah, and I'm like, kind of can't do that. No, <laughs> this would be really bad. <laughs> so, over the weekend, whenever I was on my phone, just going through everything, like on my stories. Just posting stuff on my stories and yeah. everything, and all of a sudden, like you scroll up to see what the pictures, and there's dick pic right there. I'm like, "Fuck me, no, oh, no, don't careful. put that on there. Yeah. Don't, don't let that slip out." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Why the fuck are these still on my phone?" I'm like, man, that's a great dick. I should have sent that. I thing. feel like when that occurs, that someone sees it. <laughs> like someone just saw that. What happened? Someone on Instagram monitored my shit. They just saw my dick. There it is. There's my pee pee. Bro, I was dying. I was thinking how funny that is because that's. I don't know. I always have a phobia that like somehow that gets posted and like I leave the app and I just don't think about it for like <laughs> like a little like long period of time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bro, I was <laughs> I bought shit. I was just <laughs> I was like, God, oh, I don't know I don't know how the fuck I convinced myself not to send it, but then I realized I was like, Oh, it's a good idea and I don't know why I didn't delete it. Yeah. I think I still have it on my phone. Mm -hmm. I took I took a few <laughs> Really good picture. <laughs> I don't want to let it go yet. Oh man. No, I was I was it was good. It was good to, it was good to be for them to be away, but I uh like if usually whenever we whenever we leave or we're not around each other, it's always for work. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was nice to actually have the weekend. Hannah and I we're gonna go out this weekend. We've been waiting to go out for like six weeks. So we're going to go down to yeah, It's been a while. I had to ask her, I was like, you want to go Friday or Saturday? And, she, and she's usually Saturday night. She's like, Friday. And I'm like, Friday night? And she's like, yeah, I'm not waiting any longer. And I'm mm. like, 
cool beans. So. She's fucking ready. Yeah, let it, let it. Well, uh, and and she's ready to eat good food. Yeah, like bro, every weekend they're going away. Travel food, hotel food. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Good. It's rough. Yeah. She always comes back, oh, I got indigestion and my belly hurts. I'm like, well, you're pregnant. But I'm like, you're not eating like you're not eating like you are when you're home. Yeah. When you're home, she's always eating fruit and fresh fresh fruit, fresh veggies, uh, clean meats. She just and then she, she doesn't eat really bad. Mm-hmm. She hasn't eaten too many craving things. I've been expecting it. Maybe it might come. What's like the one thing? What's like the one fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Oh, bro. I sp- <laughs> I've spent like forty dollars on fruit, yeah, like fresh fruit on a regular. So race. fucking expensive. Well, there's a tray that I that she loves. She's like, "Oh, can you stop and get a giant eagle tray?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." I go. It's like nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, "Good lord!" Mm-hmm. Then her and the kids mow through it in a day and a half, and I'm like, "I'm just gonna spend a hundred dollars a week on fruit." I'm there like, is, "It is good. I like it." There is something about it being all cut up and ready for you too. I love that. I hate <laughs> fucking. I hate carving shit up. <laughs> the fruit in my house goes so fast. Mm-hmm. Emmy, Emmy will house it instantly. Adeline will just take fucking plates. Plates of it. Walk away. Go on. I saw my dad this weekend. He's doing well. Hip's good. He's getting there. Yeah. W- yeah. Walking and stuff, like walking around all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's my dad. I know he overdid it that first week, right? Mm-hmm. Fucked it all up. He still does every now and then. Uh, well, last week we had we had that meeting. We had that meeting, and uh, in the meeting, I was so excited. Mm-hmm. He, my dad knows the guy that we had the meeting with and uh, for some financial stuff, and uh, I was talking. I made so many references yeah, you know, about fucking my dad being a cheap son of a bitch, and he looked at me with this look, and he's like, the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said a couple inappropriate things, and he's like, you're definitely Greg's son. Yep. But then at the end, when the dude said... He's like, oh, yeah, you know, just you shit the bed. And I'm like, did you just use the shit the bed reference? Well, my my eyes went wide, too. I'm like, I've only heard one person on the planet say this. Maybe two. I know. They're both feroces. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I could not believe that another person used the reference shit the bed. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, we shit the bed. He was talking about the track meet or something. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, oh, we yeah. shit the bed and this. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, is that like a boomer thing I didn't know about? Like, dude's like 62 year old man. Mm-hmm. First time I ever saw heard everybody anybody I else. I think use that's it. boomer Western PA. It's got to be like, right. It's both of them. Yeah. I was so excited. I left that meeting, and that's like all I could think about. Had yeah. of all the other good shit we talked about, it. He said it. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, but no, he's doing well. He got by to see the property and the addition. Oh, he came stuff. over. Nice. Yeah, they were out dumping garbage, and they need to get out of the house. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Mom like, come by too? Oh, yeah. Nice. She got My mom's addicted to Netflix. Really? Yeah, Riot. What, like binge watching shows and oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. My mom never watched Netflix and now she's binge watching. Yeah. The Queen. I think that's what it's called. Mm, I don't it's know. About, it's about uh, the Queen. Yeah. Like her, how she became who mm-hmm. she is. Like from, it's, I think it starts in like based in like 1940 something. My mom's into the Netflix too. I think it's that whole like epi- like the episode thing that they can watch them all like they're like they're soap operas. Like my mom loved to record like five days of soap operas and then watch them when she had time. Bro, how long has Netflix been around? Long time. Fuck, I don't know. My mom just was it around when I was in high school. Like, my how, mom I just found out how cool Netflix was. Yeah. Well, same with my mom. Like maybe two years. We're talking like two months for my mom. <laughs> when did that start, Shane? 97. No way. Yeah, mail. They were sending them in the mail, remember? You ordered Netflix. Netflix came to you in the fucking mailbox. DVDs. It was it was like towards the end of like Blockbuster. Yeah. Man. That's whenever Netflix, whenever Blockbuster said fuck you to Netflix, they were stupid. Mm-hmm. Like They're like, you guys are dumb. <laughs> oh, boys. Well, I kind of have a fucking multi-billion dollar idea. <laughs> Did you? I saw a meme with family video. Did you see it? No. There was, there was a, like a family video sign, and they were talking shit on Netflix. I forget what it was though. About how you this is like the cool place to hang out on Friday nights, some shit like that. Yeah, or e- either that or they they're like not not Netflix and chill. It was like VHS and something else. <laughs> or like because <laughs> you can still fucking rent VHS at family video. Oh, no, there's, I mean, we still have family video not too far down there in Lower Borough. Yep. Across there. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, haven't, I, I was down, it. I was down there uh, Saturday night. Where? Lower Borough. 
We went in. Uh, what are stopped, you doing over there? Went over to Buffalo Bills. Oh, you got wings. Yeah, I went over to get wings. Nice. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Buffalo Bill wings are the shit. Yeah, they're baked. Baked they're, wings. Yeah, they're baked little wing dings. Yeah. They are by far my favorite wings. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And Kim Hands can have down. them because she's keto and yep. all that shit. Yep. Fire sauces. Their Phenomenal. sauce is awesome. Out of control good. Spicy Ranch. Yep. Mm-hmm. My favorite. Did Spicy Ranch and Garlic Parm. Mmm. The Garlic Parm's fire. Yeah. Kim probably ate the fuck out of the garlic parm. She did, yeah. Yeah, just full of fat. We got those, and then we left there, and I'm like, kind of want to stop for like a pizza from <laughs> House of a Thousand. Get the we're, fuck out of here. Yeah, so we did that you too. Fat fucker. I know. It was so bad. <laughs> it was for the fight. It was fight night. You, you can't eat like chicken and rice yeah. during the fight. I ate really clean all weekend. I know you did. I, well, I didn't no. have anybody to eat anything with. I was also thinking this. Like, while you had a weekend off, I think I fucked with you last time, last podcast. I was like, I catch up on you with my workouts over the weekend. Oh, yeah. And you're like, fuck, Bob. I'm taking the weekend off. I'm going to eat cleaner than he does because I know he eats like shit all weekend. Bro, I had no <laughs> desire to eat anything bad. Yeah. I think the worst thing I ate was a fucking peanut butter and jelly rice cake. Yeah. I'm like, I was just, I was working around the house doing all this. And I was like, huh. Like, I <laughs> chicken salads, chicken and rice. That's about it. I just didn't have any, like, I'm a people eater. Yeah. I'm a fucking fat Italian. I like eating with people. I like, that's like the joy of it. When I'm alone, I'm like, okay, so I'm going to have a Diet Coke and a salad. So, like, I I planned all this, like, we're taking home, home all this food, and I was like, said to Kim, I'm like, hey, remind me to take GDA when I get home. Because the other part of my problem. I mean, that's a good idea, yeah. The other part of my issue with, like, doing a big cheat meal is, like, I'll get ripped up before. And I'll forget to take GDA, and then, like, it just fucks with me. I totally forgot. It'll so help, it, I, I, mean, I forgot it, again Saturday night. You did. I'm, like, three slices, and I'm like, fuck. You should have housed him anyway. It'll I did. still help. I did. It'll still help. Other than that, I ate pretty good this weekend, I think. That's good. Yep. Nice big cheat meal. Yep. It's always good. I was good all week. I was pretty good all week. Yeah. The cheat meals are important. You know, if you're a clean eater all week, the cheat meals are vital for two reasons. Number one, just being uh, the uptake in calories, Mm -hmm. help get your fucking motor started. I always like them just because two reasons, that and the mental aspect Mm kind of just set me off and that it always pushed me harder. Mm -hmm. It always just helped push it. And, you know, now... Little, I'm a little undisciplined, <laughs> but whenever I am on, whenever you do are on point, like it's important that important for the mental aspect to come in fucking yeah. hard dick, stiff dick, ready to go on Monday. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't like cheat days. That that really really fucks me up. It really pisses me off. I can't do a cheat day any longer mm-hmm. because I feel like my intestines just take such a beating. Mm-hmm. And whenever you fuck my shit schedule up. I am not happy. Mm-hmm. If I am not shitting right, we got problems. Yep. I now understand why, like, old people, oh, I got to eat your greens and you got to eat your veggies. You got to eat a salad and you got to do this. And it's like, I know why. Because if I wake up and I'm having a, I'm not happy with how things are going out, I got problem. Yeah. I'm not happy. It's so wild, like, me going my whole life. I mean, I was out of shape my whole life. But growing up, I ate like shit. I was very picky eater. Always, I held my weight well, but then there was points where like I was really fucking heavy. But like I never knew how shitty I was feeling until I cleaned it all the fuck up. I think that's a lot of people. Like n- my jaw itch is better, by the way. Oh, I'm fucking hammering. Thank cardio God. Again. Good for you. I'd like the worst case of jaw itch yeah. ever. Yeah. It was like two months long. Fuck. It was horrible. Just chafing the shit out of myself. Yeah. Cold weather, chafed legs. My nutsack was all hunkered in. He's all like, stop rubbing me. What's stop them legs on? rubbing. There's so much friction. <laughs> cool them down. I was putting a fucking spray on there. It sprayed cold and burned my nutsack and then it started clearing up. And then I <laughs> stopped doing cardio for a couple of days. It'd be better. And then I do cardio again. Then they look like a burnt nutsack. It was horrible. Fuck, dude. But I'm good now. Good. Yeah. Doing the cardio back on. I forgot where I was going. I got all discombobulated because I was so excited it's gone. Yeah, I'm pumped for you. Yeah, I'm glad because you were talking about it. You'd be like, what's wrong with your nuts? Why are you grabbing yourself so much? I'm like, if you saw what was between my legs, you'd run away. I was concerned. H- Hannah was like, where'd you get that burner from? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you. <laughs> uh, no, it was good. Oh, 
Uh, you know what I'm really excited for? Uh, so we're bringing people on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are, we're lining up all the guests, which I'm excited for. For everybody that's wondering, you now know Bob and I very well. Yeah. You know us very well. You know how we are, who we are, all the fun stuff. Our goal now is to start bringing on all the guests. You yeah. had to know where we stand before we started bringing people on and digging into them and bringing all the good shit out because the, this is the HWMF podcast. <laughs> The podcast for the hardworking motherfuckers of the world. We want people on who are of the same breed. Mm -hmm. And those people are also incredibly busy. So the schedules, we're getting them set. I'm excited. But I was looking at, obviously, we're going to have people from all walks of life. We're going to have other business owners. We're going to have small business owners, big business owners. We're going to have fucking athletes, former athletes. We're going to bring on everybody. It's pretty cool. And people from different walks of life that you would not expect which you can gain some great things from. Mm-hmm. Bodybuilders, I was this weekend talking to everybody, getting ready for them. And uh, the Arnold, everybody coming up. And right now my feed on Instagram is full of bodybuilders. Bro, I'm so excited for the Arnold, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It is awesome. I've been going to the Arnold since I was like 17 years old. 16, 17 years old. I missed like three years whenever I stepped away. Mm-hmm. But other than that, dude, been there every fucking year. It gets bigger and bigger. It gets cooler and cooler. And every time it gets close, I bring back the nostalgia of me waiting in lines to see Jay Cutler or waiting in lines to see Art Atwood or Lee Priest, mm-hmm. like all the old school shit. I used to wait in line to see everybody. And then little did I realize, like the Mr. Pittsburgh, it's like two months later, mm-hmm. all those same people there are right there. No line. You can go up, shoot shit with them. <laughs> Anybody that's around the Pittsburgh area, if you want to come to a really cool bodybuilding show, the Mr. Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Championships uh, at uh, Soldiers and Sailors. It's the first weekend in May every year. We'll be there. We've got a booth. We'll make mm-hmm. sure we're always supporting it. Yep. Um, I want it in 09. But um, <laughs> they're like, they always bring in the guy that runs all of bodybuilding, Jim Mannion, the Mannion family are from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. So the Mr. Pittsburgh is always the biggest show on the East Coast from an amateur standpoint and from a, a, a guest poser standpoint. Yeah. They always bring in like 10 guest posers. So all the guys that you see at the Arnold are sitting right there shooting the shit with you at the Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. So anyway, the Arnold, I'm really excited about it. We have a huge booth. It's going to be exciting. So cool. AAR and Axe and Sledge booth combined. It's a 60 by 20 fucking massive booth. We're having uh, exclusive flavor of the grind, our amino acid product. Yep. That'll be there. We have exclusive pump cover yep. from AAR. Going to be there. The only place to get them out of the gate will be at those shows. Yep. Um, I think it's the coolest pump cover to date as well. <laughs> I have to agree. Uh, and then... We got some cool stuff with the demo crew, mm-hmm. and then just ton of shit. Yeah, got a ton of stuff. It's going to be really exciting. My cool, whole thing cool is gift bags. Cool gift bags. <laughs> the gift bags are the gift bags alone <laughs> are worth the trip. <laughs> we want to give people the experience. Yeah, this is the show that we go balls deep for. That's the best part about it all. I'm excited because I've been going to it so long, and to play such a big role with it now mm-hmm. is very exciting. I think this is our fourth one together. You yeah, and I. Yeah. Yeah. You and Second I. Second one with uh, Axe and Sledge. Sledge. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Hell yeah. But I, so, but I was talking about bodybuilders. Okay. Let's get on the subject of bodybuilding today. Okay. Motherfuckers are huge. Yeah. There are, there, uh, classic has changed everything. Classic physique is there. But bro, some of these bodybuilders are just massive. Yeah. Massive, massive people. They're not like, uh, I mean, Big Ramy is out of control big. Brandon Curry, like, he's, he's not a tall guy. Mm-mm. Dude's like five foot nine. Bro, just packed full of mass. Yeah. So, I'm always fascinated with bodybuilding, mm-hmm. just like I was with boxing. Bro, they're freaks. Bodybuilding, you put on a show. Like, there's no rules. Just come and be as big as you can, most conditioned, do whatever you can. But right now, there's the gap between like classic and bodybuilding, like the open class. And there's been a bunch of, a bunch, a bunch of fucking bullshit because Sean Roden, he got those, the, the rape allegations put against him and that fucking murdered him with everything. Mm-hmm. Bro, bro's in, 
bro, they didn't let him compete in the Olympia. He mm-hmm. won the 17. Or no, he won 18. They didn't let him compete in 19. And then they didn't let him compete in the Arnold because of it. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows if it's true or not. They're just allegations. But still, it's fucking him up. So, right. I mean, he doesn't compete in anything. And then, um, but all the other guys. Dexter, this is, his, this is going to be his last Arnold. Maybe. He said How this is going to be his last. How the fuck does he, like, get better? I don't know. He, he's in the category of Mike O'Hearn. Just alien. He's an alien. Yeah. I don't even think, I don't think that's He looks just, the same age. Bro. Maybe younger. I don't, I don't know how it works. He has that beard. It's all salt and peppered right now. Yeah, I feel he like shaved. that's. A, I feel like it's fake gray. Like it's not actually gray. He shaves it and he looks twenty years younger. Yeah. Like oh my god. Upside down visor. <laughs> Bro, he's awesome. You should wear visors. Dexter Jackson. He was one of the cool dudes in the beginning. Whenever I, he was sponsored by Muscle Tech at the same time I was, mm-hmm. and dude, dude was always good to me. Dude, just he's been the same fucking. He's. I'd probably say that Dexter Jackson is the most consistent motherfucker yeah. you'll ever see in bodybuilding. Bro, dude's a legend. Mm-hmm. One of the best bodybuilders of all time. Where's he from? Jacksonville, mm. I believe. I think he, because he has a show in Jacksonville, mm-hmm. but he lives in California because he trains with Charles Glass. Right, yeah. Uh, so he, he lives <clears throat> in, I think he has a house in both areas. But dude's motherfucker is so consistent, it's scary. Like, the most consistent with food. Mm-hmm. Like, every now and then, he's like, oh, he's having a drink, and he has, like, a fucking uh, a wine cooler. Yeah. And he's like, man, half of this will fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, dude's so consistent with all his shit, man. Awesome. Uh, so, I'm excited to see him. The Arnold Classic, if anybody's wondering, I believe that the Arnold Classic, the show itself, is the best bodybuilding show to go to in America. Mm-hmm. I think that it has better lighting than the Olympia. I think that they put on a better show. I think the whole nine of the Arnold is better than the Olympia. Mm-hmm. The Olympia is phenomenal. You can't take it away. But the way everything is set up for the Arnold, I believe, is better. There's more on the line at the Olympia. It's the Mr. Olympia. It has the most clout. But the best show, I believe, is the Arnold because they do the bodybuilding. They have the strongman. And then they'll have a, like another event, like some type of show. <laughs> like they had those guys. Did you ever see the two guys in Vegas that like grab each other and like lay back? Oh they yeah, hold each other up with one arm. Yeah, stupid strong. All that crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, the one, uh, the one year I was there, I was pretty close from tickets for Muscle Tech, mm-hmm. and uh, and they had them guys. I was like, this is so cool. This is amazing. It's like magic. <laughs> you guys don't bend this way. <laughs> they had huge packages. They made sure they showed those off too. <laughs> Tight pants. <laughs> uh, fucking why don't I look at that? Shouldn't have said that, Seth. Keep that shit to yourself. Jesus. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Shane, don't look that up. What are you doing? <laughs> no, uh, if, if you haven't been to the Arnold, you have no idea. The, the sheer volume of fucking... The sea of people at the expo, there's nothing like it. So cool. Bro, you can go to a, a sold-out Penn State football game. You can go to... Big fucking NASCAR race. You can go to all this shit. Bro, you haven't seen something until you walk into the Arnold. The Arnold fucks. <laughs> it's fucking wild. It's a bit It's a bit out of hand. Oh, it's definitely. Like Saturday midday peak time. Bro, you can't move. Saturday, it smells a little bit like a little funky in there. <laughs> a little bit of protein fart. Uh-huh. A little bit of sweat. Yep. A little bit of weirdness. Yep. It's in there. Bro, it's crazy in there. Yeah. It is. It, it is the coolest. It's my favorite event in bodybuilding Mm -hmm. i love it anyone that hasn't been there and like wants to go if you don't have a hotel booked right now you're not going to the show you're gonna have a hard time you're you're gonna stay good 30 40 miles outside the city somebody mentioned something in the in the uh i don't know if it was the axe and sledge group on facebook Mm -hmm. they were talking they couldn't get tickets to the to the show itself i saw that and i said hey dude there's always scalpers outside with tickets yeah they all, there's always going to be tech, uh, mm-hmm. scalpers, and I believe that it's worth the go. Yeah, the main the main show Saturday night mm-hmm. sold out. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yep. Oh, it's great. But, dude, the bodybuilders. Like, so, all right, so I was, they were all through my feeds. I'm a huge fan of uh, Luke Sando. Yeah. Huge fan of him. Mm-hmm. Love his physique. I think that he has the perfect mix of, like, mass and, like, a little bit of class with a thinner waist, mm-hmm. smaller waist, and uh, does the vacuum. Yeah. Fucking crazy look. Mm-hmm. Always excited to see him. Um, uh, then the other guy was Anton. He's not competing at the Arnold, but I see him all the time. I follow the shit out of him. He's, uh, he came back from the Tobicep tear. I think he's down like 
fifty pounds from his off season. Yeah. He was like three hundred thirty pounds in the off season. He's Fucking like, huge! I saw his picture from yesterday. I think he was like two hundred eighty pounds ago. right now. Yeah, I he does not look two hundred eighty pounds, but then when you get to him in real life, mm-hmm. bro's six foot tall. Yeah. Big fucking frame son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. It's just that way of carrying that illusion of bodybuilding is. That's why bodybuilding is so tough. He's funny as hell, too. <laughs> just fucking out there. Bro. I love it. He's a riot. He's one of the few that actually make me laugh on Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, crazy, massive legs. Mm-hmm. Like, I look back, I was I was comparing, like, him now, because his legs are fucking huge. They're big as fuck. Yeah. And then I went back and looked at him in the off season. Bro, his, his one leg looks like probably one of two of mine right now. Yeah. Dude, he was 330-pound fucking son of a bitch. Huge. 330 pounds is a lot. Oh, my God, so, yeah. <laughs> like, Heavy bastard. I could, like, I, whenever I'd watch him force feed himself, I was like, oh, that's tough. That's tough. I, I saw he, he was posting a video. He was so pissed that he couldn't get his sauces online, like the sauces that he uses. Oh, yeah. He's like, they're sold out. It's awesome. <laughs> um. Another dude, another dude is a Kim Williams. Did you ever see him? I think so. He's yeah. a monster black guy from the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Bro, pull up his Instagram if you can. This motherfucker is so big, it's not even funny. A Kim. A K I M. Look how big he is. <laughs> oh my. Like, look at that one that's dead center. Yeah. yeah. Fucking crazy big. A little awkward looking with a couple things. He does his lats. Yeah, he doesn't flow beautifully, but this motherfucker is so strong, it's scary. Pull up, go on his Instagram and look yeah, at him. Yeah, I'm on here now. Yeah, I, I did a guest pose with him uh, a couple years ago. Bro, like sitting next to him, I was just astonished at the size of him. Fuck, he's really big. Bro, he's crazy big. I think he's might be like 5'10". 5'11"? Dude, he was telling me, he's telling me in the offseason to gain weight. He's like, I had a pizza every morning. I'm like, you did what? He's like, oh, yeah. He says, every morning by like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'd go get a pie. And I'm like, you eat a whole pizza in the morning. Yeah, sometimes it'd be breakfast pizza. Sometimes it'd be regular pizza, meat lover pizza. I'm like, you'd eat a whole meat lover pizza in the morning. Bro, crazy, crazy thing. How does that work? Well, here's the gig. Bro, you have to defy... Like, sheer science. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if that was right. But you have to defy what is supposed to go on with your body. Mm-hmm. You have to force it. You have to force it. And that's the con- confusion. We're like, oh, if you take drugs, you'll be better. Yeah, drugs are a part of it. Drugs are a piece of the pie. But if you aren't fucking doing things that are outside of the, of the realm of just regular shit, you ain't going to make it. I guess it's really hard to get that level of macros and calories just by lean lean meats, carbohydrates. Well, it won't happen. It, you're not. It won't happen. Mm-hmm. You can't eat clean and get huge. Mm-hmm. If you eat clean and eat a lot of clean food, you're going to get bigger. But if you want to be that fucking caliber, yeah. Bro, Jay Cutler was one of the he. It, Jay Cutler was the dude that was always in decent shape. Mm-hmm. Jay Cutler was so strict with his diet. Like, he, he never deviated. He was never a big guy eating fucking tons of pizza and this and that. Like, he was always clean. It was just, he's, he's as fucking simple as they come. Like, from the outside looking in. Like, I mean, you watch his shit, too. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker eats. He eats the same shit. fucking breakfast. Yeah, all the time. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Loves his tomatoes now. Mixes up his pre-workout with a spoon every day. <laughs> so routine. <laughs> yeah. He was one of the few guys that if you'd watch, he ate 12 meals a day. Mm-hmm. He used to eat. He'd say he used to eat ten to twelve meals a day. He ate every two hours, because on his journey to beating Ronnie, that was what he did. That, that was his game plan. Mm-hmm. Bro, you tell me, you gonna eat ten meals a day, Bob? You even have time to do that? If I had, even if I had the time, yeah, it, it would be it's, it would be these tiny little meals well, every he, two hours. <laughs> like that's they weren't tiny. I know. I guarantee they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. They, they were like maybe tiny to him. But they weren't tiny meals. They were meals that you and I would eat like three times a day. Right. He's eating them that often, but it was like that was his, that was his game plan to get to – he dude's 320, 330 pounds in the off season. Mm-hmm. Massive motherfucker. Massive. I watched those two go through it. That's why I fell in love with bodybuilding. Ronnie and him, see him at the Mr. Pittsburgh, fucking – dude would carry him out on his back. 
like fucking 300 pound monster guys. It was crazy. Calves this big. During his, uh, you know, that lead up with him and Ronnie at their like primes, uh-huh. when you were like following them as a bodybuilding fan. Yeah. Like, could you find all that info and all the things they were doing? Like, were, could you keep up to speed with like no. their. No. That's, that's what I mean. Like, you didn't know those things till like it would come out in an article or. I bought every Bustle magazine. And I bought every VHS to DVD mm-hmm. at that time. Yeah. All of them. I had blood and guts on VHS and on DVD. Mm-hmm. You know, Dorian Yates, blood and guts. I had the battle for the Olympia every year. I had Jay Cutler came out with a new DVD. I was buying it at the show when I saw him. I'd wait in line. I'd have him sign it. Yeah. I was all excited. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. That was my shit. That's what I was fell in love with. Mm-hmm. And that's where you got all your information. It was a whole different aspect than it is today. Mm-hmm. And I mean, a magazine come out, buy it right away. I'd be at the fucking store. I know the dates when they'd come in. Yep. Man, what, a, di- what a different world. Oh, man. No Every- social media, no updates, no progress pics, no... Nothing, dude. Nothing. You couldn't order things. You couldn't order things online. Mm-hmm. Right. I wasn't ordering them online. You'd have to wait to see them. Yeah. And they'd have it there. So even then, it was a hustling game for him. Yeah. I mean, Jay Cutler was like, he's he's the fucking upper echelon of it all. Man. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I I mean, I followed it so intently. I'd turn into a schoolgirl. I I'd get so excited for it all. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Jay Cutler, I always joke that he had a vocabulary of 40 words. Whenever he was out in public, vocabulary of 40 words. Because the dude the dude was just on track. He was so set on winning and being the best bodybuilder that that was just it. Mm-hmm. He never said anything out of line. He never said anything to offend anybody. Just did his thing. And little do you know, now we know that Jay has such a a dry sense of humor that he'll be fucking with you with you not even knowing he's fucking with you. Yeah, and we we have a pretty dry sense of humor too, but he he got us a he few times. He fucking eats us alive. It's funny yeah. as shit. Yeah, <laughs> good Man, dude. What great dude? I, I say it all the time. We bring him up, bring him up, bro. The fact that he took the time, even whenever we started AAR and we were doing a couple events, and he was there, and we remember doing cardio with him the one day, mm-hmm. eating breakfast and lunch with him. Dude's just awesome. Yeah. Good ambassador for the sport. Just the, loves the sport, loves the people, loves the, the fucking best. troops. The best. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't. He's my favorite bodybuilder of all time. I know he is. I'm still a fangirl. <laughs> still a huge fan. And he's still in shape. <laughs> How is he still in shape? He's still strong and in shape. And <laughs> Motherfucker. Just has way more sneakers now. <laughs> Dude loves sneakers. <laughs> He drive his his I don't know is that I think it's his uh, his girl that has the um he bought her the the G wagon yeah the G sixty five yeah it's sick I didn't know really much about cars but now I do mm-hmm. bro that thing is nasty as fuck sick ride bro it's one of the, it's one of the nicest G wagons you can buy mm-hmm. and G wagons one of the nicest Mercedes you can buy yeah fucking nasty ride fuck yeah dude yeah it's, it's a awesome. big it's a big car you're buying that it's a fucking it's a power move. If I saw somebody driving that, first thing I'd be is like, I want to see it. Number two, I was like, what the fuck do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? I'd love to know. I want to know. I got to know all this. What else you got? <laughs> if this is one you got, you got more of these. Yeah, if you got one of those, you got you got. Good for him. everything. I love it. Dude's yeah. been hustling since day one. Yeah. Dude's been hustling since day one. But needs to say, I'm excited. I will say there's one guy. In bodybuilding, that uh, I saw his physique again, mm-hmm. and it reminds me of the old school days, was Roman Fritz. Um, sponsored by, I think it's uh, Animal. Bro has that old school, dry as fuck look. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know who you mean. There it is. That one dead center, him white as fuck, down to the right, right there. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he just looks dry and nasty. Hard as nails. Yeah, I love that look. He's a good shape. Um, little little skinny looking right there. Uh, he just is just not that crazy, thick, overbearing m- mass monster. But his conditioning, on his Instagram, he just posted something. Mm-hmm. I love that look. It's my uh, favorite look. i got to pull it up. It's my favorite look. I think I know what, what it is. 
the other guy, uh, he has all these Instagram, or he posts all this stuff all about bodybuilding. Uh, at S-U-L-E-O-S-E. -E. Um, and he posts a ton of stuff about bodybuilding. Love following it. You know what? Instagram unfollowed him for some reason on me. Hmm. I, I, just this weekend, I realized I wasn't following him. I was like, I never even stopped following him. I'll pull him back up. <clears throat> I have a question. Shoot. Well, all right, go ahead. <laughs> you pissed me off before the show even started. What? I don't Man, know. I didn't mean to. Man, he posted a ton of shit. This. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Yeah. yeah. That's that Roman Fritz. I love that dude's fucking physique. Fuck, okay. Damn. It's not a mass monster. He's not that. He's just so symmetrical, tight, hard, tight waist, gray. big chest. When he turns around, and shows his glutes off. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the fucking ripples in there. Bro's like, and it says he's seven weeks out or some shit. I'm like, why you look like that seven weeks out? People look, don't look like that. Like, For that Christmas tree on his back, too. Holy fuck. Bro, I love that look. Yeah. My favorite look right now. It's a cool look. He looks yeah. tall. Um, probably why I like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like tall, tall, strong men. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, no, this is a great page to follow if you're into bodybuilding because a dude posts a ton about pros and a ton about amateurs too. Yeah, oh, man. It like makes me want to get in crazy shape for five seconds. And then I realize I'm not doing that. I think I want to take like a like a good run at getting in really nice shape. I love it. I really like it. Well, I was even looking at some pictures from two summers ago. Bro, I, I was in the best shape of my fucking life. Yeah. It, it was two a day cardio. Yep. That's what it was. So that's why I'm afraid about it because mm -hmm. I know that whenever I go into this, like I know I'll I'll let my I'll let the the bad part of my head take over. Mm -hmm. The two a day cardio. The very strict dieting, that's okay. <laughs> but then it'll come like, and I can keep it out, but it's like I know what I can do to like get better. Mm -hmm. I know what I can do to like shed more fat. I know how to manipulate everything, all the drugs and what can take this. And it's like, it's not that that's bad, but it's just I just will take it too far. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm not, I'm, I guess you could say I'm not controlled enough quite yet with it all. So I just kind of stay away from it because I love being shredded because that look... I can attain that look, that dry, grainy, hardest fucking nails look. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's a little bit of trend and some master on in there. Maybe some clenbuterol. I can eat that. I, I tell you what, that's what it is. I love how difficult it is to be that shredded mm -hmm. because he's not eating burgers and he's not eating a lot of steak. He's eating very, very clean meats. Mm -hmm. Very, he's on it. Yep. It's so cool. I get, I'll get lean. <laughs> We'll get, I'll get lean in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I won't go. Mm -mm. It's tough. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You take a run. So well, what were you going to say? Yeah, Shane? what, what did you sorry, have? What did I interrupt there? No, it's okay. Um, my, my question was, uh, what professional athlete do you think gets the best quality ass? I mean, we were talking about the pros and, and bodybuilding. I mean, there is yeah. some nice talent Not in bodybuilding. Not an answer to the internet question. Okay. There's well, some talent bodybuilding. Who gets the most ass? Yeah, just not any professional athlete. The like, most uh, or the best? The best quality. Okay. I don't even know if it's a thing. Quality over quantity of ass. Like, is it, is it bodybuilding? Is it soccer players? All right, so... <laughs> Well, no. Actually, yeah, soccer pro soccer players probably like pull really I, okay. So uh, this is tough because now you're talking about what type of women there are in bodybuilding. You've got some tight bodies. Mm -hmm. You've got some fucking. There's some. I, Hannah's gonna fucking hate me. <laughs> what are you doing to us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of fucking question is this? You asshole! This is worse than a dick question. <laughs> Race car drivers. Oh, race car drivers, like pull. European guys. Oh Tall, yeah, you got a thin, cool shades accent. Couple mil in the bank. Couple mil, them are they're yeah. They they got big money. Formula One. I mean, you, you got a pretty good point. Well, I mean, I've always wanted to drive a race car. Me too. <laughs> but soccer players, I mean, European shit. I guess maybe it's like. 
I even I would even get man. This is a way gay podcast for me. I gotta stop talking. I'm done. <laughs> Done. Hey, you're taking the reins. It's all good. Were you about to talk about like how handsome the athletes are versus the ass that they're pulling? <laughs> well, yeah, think about it. Stand up against a Formula One, jet black hair. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, women got to dig it. Women yeah. have got to dig a tall fucking, it's got an accent, plays plays a sport, gets paid a ton of money. Like and they're always they're I mean you see them you see the shit on Instagram they're always fucking six foot something they're in shape they're handsome they got an accent they always got they got a swagger to them they got their shit man got to give it to them there, there's so much money in Formula One it's unreal so you think what so I mean we're excluding basketball players are we excluding them no we gotta include them no, I I exclude the NBA I don't think it's quality ass. <laughs> That's a that's a quantity there. Yeah. Okay. M- most of them are just fucking Americans. <laughs> They're just dicking them down, dicking them yeah, down I'm, for the sport. I'm famous, kind of a big deal, and a triple double last night, <laughs> in more than one way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. I'm yeah. not wrong. I think I think I'm pretty pretty right. I on can't that. disagree with you on that. <laughs> All right, so the question that we're asking, this is for everybody listening too, like what what sport do you th- or what sport celebrity athlete athlete whatever oh. gets a best quality ass? Fucking Julian Edelman's out of this. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> All right, I I will I'll agree with you. I'll say that maybe athletes uh NBA, football, yeah, they might be qual- quantity. Mm-hmm. Might go after it. Um, I feel like the. I, I mean, that's tough. It's, it depends, it's so maybe it depends different. on the person. Yeah, it depends on the type of girl we're talking about. I mean, it depends on, it depends on your taste in ass too. <laughs> I mean, do you think that? <laughs> I feel like also. So, like, we're talking about these race car drivers and soccer players. They're all European. Most of them. Well, Marco Andretti's not European. No. <laughs> no, he's from PA. <laughs> Sounds Italian. <laughs> I was going to say. Some sort of Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. They, uh, has to be them. Race car drivers. Yeah. Like NASCAR <laughs> or Formula One. I think there's a big difference there. <laughs> yeah, there's a well, big What about Olympians? Like handball? <laughs> I feel like, Shh. actually, I'm going to say this. Even NASCAR, like, I feel like they all stand by their their woman the same way like around the car and like the whole persona of like having yeah i, I mean I, I don't know i'll the only reason i take formula one over nascar is just the european thing mm-hmm. just i feel like i don't know no i'll i mean nascar is too american yeah for it for, for for i mean but then i'm not i'm not bagging on american ass i love american ass i'll take american ass over foreign ass mm-hmm. i like that so it depends on your ass. <laughs> it's back. And people are like, oh, well, you like, is there more blondes in the sport than brunettes or, you know, Latino women? I, I like, would, I, Latino women are out for me because they're crazy. That there yeah. was that joke that I was talking about Mexicans, Americans, the puppet things. Yeah. And he, they were talking about, oh, your, your white women have no asses and they can't cook. <laughs> and then like went back about them and he's like, they're crazy and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was fucking funny. Um, no, I'd probably say uh, it just depends on it. What do you like? Might be the Europeans might be a little too exotic for me. <laughs> a little too exotic. Well, no. <laughs> fucking redhead. Redhead got me enough. Redhead's fucking. Uh. Uh-uh. Hmm. Gotta love it. Yeah. What do you like? There's big money. Big money in Formula One. I, and, I'm and like gonna, all the all if, the European races and all the shit. This is the ask, if this is one of Shane's questions, I will go ahead and top two. I'll say uh, big time soccer players and uh, Formula One, mm-hmm. just because the persona. Yeah, like I immediately think of Formula One, like complete fucking dickhead, cool shades, just. Has every angle, cool cars, cool house, big money. Like I'm like, oh, of course, Ricky Bobby. Of course, of course, he's got fucking vagina scented candle pussy going around. <laughs> they all smell like this over there. 
<laughs> and then I think of Chris uh, Ronaldo. I think uh, I think of him soccer. Baller. I mean, if I what's look- he worth, Shane? Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, big money. I, how, how is there so much money in soccer? Oh, bro, just it's massive in other countries. Like, United- like way, way uh, four hundred sixty million. Oh boy! Oh my God, <laughs> he definitely has a quality piece of ass for himself. Eh? Yeah, he's seen, he's a good dude too. That's what I like. He does a lot yeah. of stuff with charity. I mean, uh, regardless of the dude's worth, what he does for people with his worth is what's incredible. And he's so handsome. I wish I looked like him. If there's one, if, I was, you know what? If there's one athlete I want to look like, it's him. How does he look that great during a game? I, That's what I want to know. I don't know. Blessed by Jesus, yep. he's got it. Man. Maybe someday. <laughs> Fucking stretch me out a little bit, <laughs> dye my hair. Ah, uh, you oh, So I was talking about redheads there. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, all right. What, <laughs> on Friday, mm-hmm. I got a message. I'm looking it back up real quick. You're like, I don't know if this happened or not. No, it did. <laughs> I don't know how it started. What did I say? The fake chow. I posted the thing yeah. about the fake chow on my stories, and I got a message from a girl, and she said, uh, "She said that if I didn't like to suck your dick so much, I'd fake chow you later." And I looked, and I'm like, "Jesus Christ!" And then the next message said, "Oh my fucking god! I can't believe I sent that to you and not my not my husband." <laughs> She's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh, this is not supposed to be to you. She, meant she to, fucked up. She fucked up. She meant to send it to her husband. And I'm like, I was dying. He was probably excited that she did, though. So, like, oh, of all guys, I'm glad it was Seth. I fucking and and she's a fucking redhead. They got a family, nice, nice couple, yeah. kids, the whole nine. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is. I was fucking dying because this is like the whole dick pic thing that you don't want to send. Yeah, you didn't mean to. But uh, she sent, and I was fucking, I sent message back, like, laughing. This is the funniest fucking thing ever because, like, this is a nightmare for somebody. Yeah. And um, and the fact that she said that she was going to fake chow him, like, if, if I didn't like sucking your dick so much, I'd fake chow you. I'm like, this is fucking something we'd say. Yeah. So I messaged back laughing and all this, and I went and hit, I went, uh, I went and hit him up. And I was like, this is fucking great. This is so fun. I'm so glad that you get cool blowies, too. Pump for him. Yeah. If somebody else has kids in the fucking busy life and you're still getting blowies, bro, you're winning. Fuck yeah. You are winning. <laughs> if you have kids and fucking busy schedules and you're still talking to your significant other that way, bro, my hat's off to you, bud. Yep. I fucking was dying. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you're not faking that on me. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> it's definitely not the same. I think they say the same thing to us. You can't fake it, you dumbass. I know when you're in there. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a good time. I, I, it was a good laugh. Good laugh. Also, pulled the rest of my fingernail off. I don't have a fingernail anymore. Will that come back? I, I kind of wish that I was taking a picture of it every day. Cause it is ugly as sin. Could do like a time lapse on it. I should have did that. Mm-hmm. It looks all it looks all fucked up because it just looks way. Should have oh, videotaped it. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy today. Man, he's got jokes today. I mean, you get laid a couple times over the weekend. Nice little sucky sucky. You're feeling your cheerios. I see it now. Hey, what do you got there? I saw you had it. You brought it uh, in. Yeah, um, I got the. New Coke energy drink. I it's cherry. You want to show the people's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't throw it. Fizz it up. Right. Yeah, let's shake it up. Shake it up. Take it back, Shane. No, it's the new Coke energy thing. We talked about it after the Super Bowl, um, but I didn't know if it was going to be good or not. I'm a Coke person. I prefer Coke over Pepsi. Same. So I thought it had to be good, but the only thing in here that you that you'd mentioned earlier was the niacin in here. So you're going to feel a little flush. You're going to feel this. No sugar though, right? No, everything's zero. Yeah. Just some uh, 80 milligrams of sodium. Uh, and then the niacin also has caffeine. Well, how much caffeine is in here? Oh, excuse me. I want to try it. You want to try it? Mm-hmm. Shane, can we open this? Yep. Thank you. 
I gotta find the caffeine. I couldn't find it either. You couldn't find it on here? Mm -mm. What the fuck? 80 milligrams. 80 milligrams. Why Mm -hmm. the fuck isn't it listed on here? Or why is it hid so much that I can't? Maybe they're not defining it on the can. I got all stuffed up this weekend, too. Breathing all heavy out of my mouth and shit. The listeners love that. I know, I'm like, (laughs) my nose is all stuffed up on the one side, and then I blow a snot rocket out the other, and you got the other one cleared. Smells good. (laughs) I was going (laughs) to tell you to do that. (laughs) Bro, I'll fuck with that. Yeah? Uh, Oh. Little bit of an aftertaste that I'm not a big fan of. Pretty good though. No, I like it. I, 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 the aftertaste is like a like a, getting a big gulp, a big gulp, big the, gulp. The huh? after. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. It tastes like an iced coke from a gas station. The aftertaste. Oh, that's good call. Mm-hmm. Good call. Yeah, it's pretty good. I I I thought that's what it would taste like. It has that's the cherry one. Yeah. Um, it tastes like Coke Zero with a little bit of cherry, but has a little bit of a different aftertaste. Yeah, the aftertaste is... I feel like I won't weird. reach for that, though. No, I won't. Like, if I'm looking for an energy drink, I, love I want, 3Ds. I want uh, some unique flavor. I don't want to taste cola. The, the 3Ds came out with a cola flavor. Did they? The silver. Yeah, we have. We don't have it yet. We're yeah. getting them in. But, uh, I mean, I'm not... a good idea. I'm probably not going to go for it because if I go for a pop, if I'm going for, like, a pop, like that tastes, mm-hmm. I'm just getting a pop. Mm-hmm. I don't want it to fuck me up anymore. No. Yeah, not bad though. It it almost has like a flat Coke aftertaste, mm. like it's flat. Oh, great call! Look at you. What a palate he's developing over there. I really like a, like a soda with some ice too. Like I, I don't really, really like drinking like out of a can. I, if it's cold, I do. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. I got snacks too. I saw that. I went to Nazers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kit Kats. Easter candy's fucking everywhere. It is. Easter's Easter's here. So we're it's getting here. What is it? April twelfth is Easter. But uh these are Kit Kat lemon crisps. Mm. Kit Kats are big in Australia. They are have they? way more flavor way more flavors than us. Mm. Yeah. Kit Kats in Australia. I think Japan and shit. So I figured let's go. And it's not chocolate. I love lemon stuff. I do too. That's why I was excited to try it. So we have lemon crisp Kit that? Kats. Yeah. Just got to check real quick. Oh, make sure there's no nuts. Mm-hmm. Ooh, oh, serving is four pieces? Fuck yeah. Which... <laughs> <laughs> They're bite size. So four pieces, 22 grams of carbs, nine fat, two protein. It smells really good. Two protein. So I get a half a gram of protein in here. Mm-hmm. If I eat like 20 of them. I got 10 grams. Oh, it does have that uh, lemon lemon smell. Everybody see? There you go. Mm. If you like lemon. Mm. Oh, yeah. If you like lemon shit, this is fucking good. Do you like a, like lemon meringue pie? No, I like, like lemon cookies. Love lemon cookies. Like the Girl Scout ones? No, homemade lemon yeah. cookies. Like the old ladies make? Mm-hmm. Old Italian women? Fucking fire. A lot of like... Like this this flavor profile is like an old boomer flavor profile. Like most people don't like lemon shit. <laughs> or lime, like key lime pie. I love key lime pie. So do I. Mm. What do you think I, over there? I like Neil? it. You like them? I didn't... I didn't expect much i thought they were going to overdo the lemon but it's just like light enough to where it's not making me sick that's what i thought too i thought they were going to fuck up on the lemon these are fire they fuck <clears throat> yeah. i like them yeah i can actually sit and eat probably the whole bag maybe we should eat other kit kats you know who loves kit kats hmm. regan grimes does he at son of a bitch that's how do you like, know that i follow him on instagram and every time he's going for snacks and stuff it's always kit kats like you'll get a fucking a big kit kat thing i'm like mm-hmm. bro what are you doing that's that's his shit though yeah yeah he loves kit kats mm. when he goes overseas to other countries he always is eating other people's snacks let's get him on there that fucking son of a bitch is like 24 years old owns his own gym yeah 
fucking traps the size of his own head. He's a big boy. Everybody busts his balls because he's got pudgy cheeks. Like I was on with Luke Sando and Fuad on their podcast. They're like, you know, they were busting his balls. I'm like, bro, he's baby fat. He's young. He's 24. Mm Mm-hmm. Bro, when I was 24 and I'd get in the off season, I look like a bowling ball. I didn't even look like the same person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Regan's a good dude. He's a solid dude. One of the nicest guys in the industry. I don't think he has like a. I've never seen him get angry, or like even his intensity is still like. It's crazy. I, I've I've always followed him. Like even like right before he turned pro, yeah, like I was following him. I'm gonna reach out to him see if he wants to. Honestly, he's always like the the bodybuilder look that like if I was a bodybuilder, like I'd want to look like. Oh, that's your guy. Yeah. Because oh. he's just he's big, round, full all the time. Like, I don't know. Even when he's even whenever he gets kind of out of shape, he still has that just that crazy shoulder to mm-hmm. waist ratio. Yep. Yeah. I got chubby cheeks, too. I feel like we're like the same, same guy. Same person. Like the same guy. <laughs> Practically the same guy. <laughs> Our arms are the same size. Bro, dude's way bigger than everybody thinks, too. Yeah. He's, he, I think he's like, he's got to be like 6'1", 6'2". Hmm. He Shane, might be six foot. Um, height. Height. Type in Regan Graham's height. Jesus. You so rookie. How is your, how so are is me your, and the internet just don't get along? 5'11". No fucking way. He makes, he's. <laughs> We're the same height. We're basically the I'm same. Just, guy. I'm just as big as Regan. I don't Grimes. want to be an asshole to you, but he's taller than you. He's for sure <laughs> taller than you. He has tall hair. Ah, he does do the tall hair. Yeah, he's got the six inch hair. Uh huh. But he's he can do it. He's he's kind of darker skin, handsome. He's not pale white. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you want to <laughs> roll? Is, <laughs> this is uh. I, I hey, I also I fucking killed this weekend too. Yeah. I murdered Hannah last night. Nice. Oh, I fucked her up. <laughs> yeah, man. good job. I was in it. Nice. Are you up now because of one time? Or no, I'm I'm definitely still still losing. in the deficit. Oh yeah. Of wins. Oh, wins and losses. She's killing me. <laughs> I was fucking. You got her. Good job. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fuck you guys. <clears throat> I'm just excited to go tell show I won. He bet on Wilder. I bet on Fury. I got that. Another Monday. Big days. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I love Mondays. Kind of. I kind of like them. I just realized that I just need to make sure I take time for a little more time for myself. Mm-hmm. That was all. Uh, one big thing I pulled away from this weekend uh, was... I don't enjoy my shit enough. Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy what I have at home enough because the second I get home, it's more work. It's intense. I need to – everything's been so crazy the past month, mm-hmm. with gymnastics. But it is busy season. But coming home and spending time with my kids, like I just soaked them in, didn't see them all weekend. I was like, fuck, I need to do a better job. When it, and it's not even the, the, the actual time. It's the quality of the time. Good, great, great you way Because I, I – I mean, me and Kim, we spend a ton of time together. We spend every evening, every weekend together. But the amount of actual time that my mind isn't thinking about everything else, it's actually focused on her, it's yeah, it's a lot less than what it should be. I, I know I need to do a better job. Mm-hmm. It, it's tough. It's so hard transitioning from the work grind back to the family grind to just the downtime. Bro, I mean, whenever we're in the thick of it and mm-hmm. doing all the behind-the-scenes things with all these companies... Mm-hmm. Bro, if if you're not in it, it won't be as good. No. Mm-mm. If you're not fucking fucking balls deep, head in it, nothing else can matter, it won't be what it is. Mm-mm. So shit gets wild. Yep. And that's whenever I was like, okay, I just need to I need to find out my way to to kind of back away or and just transition because mm-hmm. I haven't appreciated I haven't appreciated all the shit that I have. Like mm-hmm. I mean, ever since Black, ever since like November, it yeah. has been fucking insane. Because right after November, closing out the year with fucking taxes and finances and all the bullshit, and then right now we're just finishing up taxes. Taxes are due fucking March fifteenth. Like it's been nonstop. Gymnastics is fucking crazy. We're traveling. We left. Bro, it's the Arnold's coming up. Fuck, dude. First AAR release of the year. Yeah. Fucking Bro, gigantic. There's not been, and I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. Like, you're right. Like, there's different levels. Like, the downtime for yourself, the downtime with your people, and still making sure that you're not fucking getting caught up and going crazy. Yeah, because, I mean, you, you can you can be successful 
without being as engulfed in all this shit. However, is it ever going to get to that other level? Are you going to miss your 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 main opportunity to take it to the next level? Like you went right past it, and then you see like a decline. Yep. Like if you're you got to once you're in it, you got to stay in it, and when it's climbing, you fucking you double down. Absolutely. Yeah. And and bro, it's. But yeah, it's a lot. And those are the things that and those are things that every entrepreneur asks himself at each point in their career of leveling up or being in a certain situation. Mm-hmm. Though that's why it's so intense and scary. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? You we don't know the answer. Mm-hmm. We don't know if this is what we're supposed to do. We're just doing it. We're betting on ourselves. We're putting it out there. And that's what everybody gets scared about. I'm terrified of it. There is no balance. No. no. I'm tr- I'm just saying, like, I need to do a better job of it because mm-hmm. you're right. It's really tough to balance, and I just need to, whenever I turn it off, I need to do a better job of turning it off because I don't actually ever fully turn it off. Yeah. I don't. Well, I know in, in January, I mean, after all the big mayhem stuff and there were still things in the works and we still had some loose ends to tie up, I, bro, I was not in a good spot mentally. I was not in a good fucking spot. No. It took me weeks, weeks to get my head back into the swing of things to get back on a new pace because the pace was so fucking high and fast from November through the new year. I, I think that a lot of people feel these things too. Yeah. In all aspects of life with their, with their, their, their job or their business and their family and their kids and the busy time with baseball or football or soccer and mm-hmm. traveling and all that. Like my house, I was like, this is the first weekend I've had with my house. It's nuts. So I think that this is common and everybody needs to find that balance. But then you're like, oh, you need to find a balance. Try having three fucking kids. Yeah. Look at Dean with fucking four kids in four different sports. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, they're, it's so tough. So it's like, I personally, like, even though, like, I leave here, I never leave. Mm-hmm. I never leave in my head. And this weekend, I kind of was able to, that mindless work is what I need. Yeah. Back to cutting grass and splitting wood. Like, I need it. I need more of it. And I need that way, like, whenever I come in and sit with my kids, bros, yeah. I need, I need to do a better job. I have a hard time at recognizing that I'm in a bad spot until it's like too late. Like I'm over the edge. I, yeah. And for me, all I needed to do was sit with my six year old and realize how fucking cool she is. Mm -hmm. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. This kid's a riot. Like all I had to do was sit down and just look at you and laugh. Like you think everything's cool. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What am I doing? Yeah. I'm with you. I'm not, I'm not there enough. Uh, like in my head when I'm in it. No, you you made the the mindless stuff is so important. Yeah, because like yesterday morning we we both woke up and our usual thing is cardio, no matter what. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking do cardio today. I just don't. She's like, Well, what do you want to do? I was like, I want to go pick up sticks and start a giant fire. She's like, Let's go fucking do that. We'll burn the cardboard. I'm like, Yeah, let's do that. I'm out there with this roaring fire with a smile on my face, and I felt so good inside. I'm like, fuck, the, the little like anxiety I have about wanting to do cardio or not, like that was gone. I felt good. And then I actually went and worked out later in the day anyway. Yeah. You know, it's... I think those are the growing pains in life. It is, yeah. Like those weird stomach feelings and growing pains and mm-hmm. learning yourself and learning everything because I didn't think I could work harder. And then here I am a year later working way fucking more. Mm-hmm. And then I think I can't work any harder right now. And then you look at how things need to go and what we need to accomplish. I got to find more fucking time to do it. Mm-hmm. And then I sit here and go, fuck, dude, I need to do this. It's intense. And I think everyone feels it. And I want everybody to know that's listening. Like, you're not the only one that has these crazy thoughts or just because someone's doing this or that. Like, everybody goes through these feelings and yeah. just need to kind of step back sometimes. I, I had it this weekend. I'm glad I did. And it'll be good. It's great. It takes certain time, little by little. Mm-hmm. But all right. Good times. I had a fun time this morning. I'm excited. I'm excited for everything coming. Yeah, I'm me excited too. for what's going on. But right now it's time to end the podcast with our favorite segment, Answer the Internet, the sports, the Barstool Sports card game where Shane picks three questions from the deck that we have no idea what they are, he asks us. These are not to be taken serious in any way, shape, or form. These are all for fun, enjoyment. We want you to ask these questions to your coworkers, your mom, your dad, your brother, all your people, and have a good time. The reason that Bob and I do this part, Bob and I, and Shane, he's included now too. I mean, you couldn't be left out with that Rocky quote, you dick. 
you got seven days. Yep. The reason we do this is to make sure that you guys are bringing more good shit to your life. I want you to make sure that you push yourself every single day to become a better person. Be a hardworking motherfucker in every single thing that you do. When you go to do it, put all you got into what you're doing. Be the best motherfucker you can be. The one thing that I do ask from you all is, is please share the shit out of this podcast. We want to reach as many people as we can. I want you to have enjoyment and have a good time. But right now, it's time for the questions. Shane? I'm expecting good questions today. It's a good Monday. Oh, I have really good questions. One's a fan question, actually. Got a fan question. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that was good for, like, legitimately a split second, and I realized that means it's really fucked up. Is it the first or the last question? I'm going to make it the first question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is from one of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go, Shane. Uh, so this is from Preston, actually. So the question is, would you rather have a nipple-sized dick or dick-sized nipples? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not doing anything with a nipple-sized dick. You're not doing nothing. You are doing nothing with a, with a nipple-sized pee-pee. Mm -mm. So, I guess at this point, with that one statement... I'm going to have dick-sized nipples. Is it my dick size or is it somebody else's dick size? I think size? it's your dick size. That's a little revealing. <laughs> are they hard nipples or do they like droop down? Are they like soft, soft size PP nipples? I wonder if they work the same. Are they way. growers or showers? Bro, if I have, if I, you can see dick lines on my chest, I'm going to be a little uncomfortable. No, they're dick-sized nipples. Yeah, but th they're not like. Are, wait, are we talking like the same like, like diameter? Are they, are they shaped like dicks? They like, yeah, they're the same they're size. They're like my dick. Yeah, that's your dick on your chest. <laughs> so, you, so like where my nipples are, my dick's coming out of, the, of each of them. Yeah. Oh, no. Do they work? <laughs> are they hope functional? So. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think, I just think they're nipples that are the size of your dick. I don't think they're actual dicks. So you might have like... Yeah, but if my nipple was the length of... <laughs> I feel like it's still going to look like a dick. Oh, yeah, it will, because it's the size of your dick. <laughs> but it's not the shape of a dick, so there's no head on your on your nipple. It's just your nipple. Yeah, but if my nipple was hanging down. Yeah. It's going to look like a dick, but it's not going to have a head. <laughs> no. And a hole. No, I have a nipple as a head. Yeah. With a long nipple shaft on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it doesn't say a boob, it just says a nipple. Bro, I'm not having a nipple-sized dick. No. No way. <laughs> what do you do with it? You couldn't do shit with that. I'm taking the fucking dick Milk size anything with nipples. <laughs> I can milk, you can milk me. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some young, lucky female that'll be into them. <laughs> yeah, great nipple dick. <laughs> great job. No way, you can't have nipple-sized nipple dick. Gotta have the fucking the yep. monsters. I'll have deal with them. I'll have seven and seven eighths inch of nipple. Probably tuck them around. <laughs> Shane's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus, I've never measured it before. <laughs> You'd have the longest nipple on the planet. Oh man. Okay. All right. Yep. That's what I'm taking. Bob, are you in the same boat? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Shane, what about you? Yeah, I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is he stepping up his game? He's agreeing with us now. Mm -hmm. Number two. This one's a little fucked up. Nice. Oh, no. Pull the internet so you'll get an answer. Would you kill a random hobo to get the fuck Kate Upton? Wait, what? You got to kill a random hobo to fuck Kate Upton. I'm not a huge Kate Upton fan, and I'm not a huge fan of killing people. I'm not killing a hobo to have sex with another woman. I'm not that big of a Kate Upton fan. Mm. I can't kill a hobo. I mean, no, no. Kate Upton is. Have you seen her? <laughs> you don't even know that he's going to be gone. No, <laughs> no, Jesus, <laughs> Bob. I'm kidding. I'm not. That, I'm heard. not that insensitive. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. That was bad. I like. I like the opportunity to, for you to disagree with me. But I, had, I, I had to say you it. You had to, yeah. yeah. Just chalk this one up to Justin Verlander. Yeah. Hats off. Oh, is he the one pounding her? 
That's his hu- her husband. Yeah. Oh, nice. Really? They make yeah. babies yet? Um, They're probably fucking so. incredibly like just beautiful looking. No matter what, he's a cheater. <sighs> was he father. part of it? Yeah. yeah Lander was there. Or he wasn't. I mean, he just participated. Yeah. Uh, well, still gets a bang, Kate Upton. Good yeah. for him. Hmm. I'm not killing hobos, though. No. No go. Same. But 57% of Barstool readers say, huh? yeah, they will. not ruin it out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, Jesus. Hey, they're fucked up enough to put that on the card. I mean, you gotta ask it. You're yeah. not taking these serious. Fifty-seven yeah. percent of people said they would. Fifty-seven percent of people are killing a fucking hobo. Yeah. Are you killing a hobo? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> you're lying. Yeah, okay, Shane. No, no. Right. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> How hard is that to do? No. I, yes. That's why I didn't do it right away. I had to think about it. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, last question. Another pull the internet so you'll get an answer oh. again. Two of them. Yep. Would you rather watch only softcore porn for the rest of your life or only minor league sports for the rest of your life? You mean whenever I got to turn on the TV, I got to watch one of them? Yeah. Well, I mean, do you watch porn on TV? <laughs> no, Shane. <laughs> does this I'm mean just, like I, I can't sh- watch? <laughs> does this just mean I can't watch any other category? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you can't watch any other category. So whenever that TV gets turned on, it's either Mon- softcore porn or minor league sports. Minor league. No, so if you want to turn the TV on and watch like an NFL game. You have to watch softcore porn, or or if you're trying to go watch, I don't know your favorite category of porn, then minor league sports turns on, wait. or or only softcore porn. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think that's right. Let me see that's that right. card. Here, yeah. You guys just don't want to face the facts. It's okay. Would you rather watch only softcore porn for the rest of your life? Or B, only minor league sports for the rest of your life. So when that ter- TV turns on, I'm watching one or the other. I'm mm-hmm. not watching softcore porn. No. It's horrible. Yeah. I don't even like the acting. Mm-mm. I don't even like the act. If I want it, I want to see it all. <laughs> yeah. Don't... Terrible question, Shane. I'm very disappointed in it. Oh. I'm watching minor league sports. Pick another one. Yep, we're doing another one. <laughs> another one. Man, thin ice. I know. It's over there. I was doing so good today. You were, you were, you were winning. I mean, you're still. I mean, this one's a good one to go off the Kate Upton hobo one. No, no, no more killing people. <laughs> no, it's not, not killing, killing people. A hobo. It's not killing. <laughs> Do you think there are more porn stars in the world or murderers? Hmm. Whoa. <sighs> Again. Why are we talking about killing people and sex? Those <laughs> things sell like crazy, though. So. I didn't make the cards. <laughs> I mean, every that, I love the memes on on the the you know the white women, uh, the white women memes about them loving serial killer documentaries on yeah. Netflix. Mm-hmm. Like when it, oh, they're so excited, they use that Anna Kendrick. Mm-hmm. How she's all fun, funny and happy looking. Yeah. <sighs> Netflix documentary about people killing them. They love those. I can't watch them. I don't like them. They're in low intense for me. They'll, they'll fuck me up a little bit. I get too involved emotionally with some things, and like I start to feel like shitty. And they they get me, and I'm not. Yeah. I can't. I watched. I used to watch some horror flicks and into it, but then I was just like, no. Like it puts me in like. Then I feel like, like no. Mm-hmm. Like whenever it crosses my mind that I want to fucking do something negative, it's like that's what pops up. Like oh, yeah, I could definitely kill somebody. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh. Uh-uh. I I, but I meant, I meant like, <laughs> you know, if, <laughs> no, like, and not like if my I life know. depended on it and somebody was coming to harm me, yeah, I'd have to yeah. fucking do that. But not like, oh, like Jeffrey Dahmer type shit and some people that are serial killers and just, or serial rapists and killers and shit like that. That's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. But what was the question again? Do you think there are more porn stars or murderers in the world? More people that do porn or more people that kill it dep- people? It depends on what you classify as a porn. Each one of them. I mean, I just hope. I mean, a porn star is probably one that's getting paid 
to do the porn, right? I mean, anyone can put stuff up on Pornhub. That's what I mean. So how do? And there, we... that's quite the catalog. Not bad either. I would be scared if there's that many murderers. That's where I'm getting. <laughs> like pages of them. Pages. Oh, that's a terrifying thought. Are we saying that someone? They, I'm going to say there's probably more porn stars than murderers. I'm just saying it because I hope so. Mm -hmm. Fuck. It's another terrible question. It's a good one to go off of the hobo Kate Upton. I'm not satisfied. I think I need one more. (sighs) Man. Fucking killing people. What's his up his? He's all fucking fired up. Didn't watch Rocky. You need to go see Rocky. You need something good. Motivational. You got to watch Rocky. Split wood fucking lift weights. Fucking whiskey and weights fucking fix everything. I, I think do. so. I'd agree. Yeah. Weights fixed. Weights. Uh, n- whiskey. Sometimes you can't go with whiskey. Whis- whiskey's not a good. <laughs> <clears throat> you got one more? I'm a little nervous now because you guys got me all thrown off. Bring them over. Give me the cards. I'm asking you one. Oh, God. Yeah. Give me the box. Yep. Uh, 58% of people said there were more murderers, though. Man. Fuck. I hope that's wrong. I mean, it, it, if there's thousands of, I mean, in Chicago alone, I think what they killed this year so far in Chicago, like over 2,000 fucking people or something. Or last year, 2019, it was like 2,000 people were killed. Oh, that's man. what I mean. It's scary. This one's going to be appropriate. Oh, man. <laughs> Looking for something about guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. All right, I got this. is a good one here. <laughs> oh, this is fucking... I hate this question. I'm not cool with that one. That's a dick question. Not legitimately. That's, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, he's excited. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> oh. What are you, you guys just staring at me waiting? You're not going to have any conversation about me being gay today? You fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here speaking my mind, showing my vulnerability, and all I do is get made fun of for being this way. What are you doing? You picking a hundred of them? You can't look through the whole box. I thought you... Are you picking three? I'm going in. Oh, man. You're going to ask him three? Yeah. We got like seven questions today. Oh, yeah. These are great questions. I'm so excited right now. Don't look. Don't cheat. All right. Bob, can I have another lemon thing? Kit Kat, please. Oh, look at you. You're on a diet from what? 10 to 2? 11 to 2. 11 to 2. And it's... Oh, oh, oh you're, shit. Now you're cheating on your diet. Okay, yeah. here we go. Yep. Uh, answer the internet. Would you rather have your dick and balls located on your taint or have them where they normally are, but with the balls on top and the dick on bottom? Um, oh so your, 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 your balls would be above your dick, so they'd be draped over your pee-pee. I mean, whenever it's not hard, your balls would be over top, probably see your balls and no dick. Or would you rather have everything just moved down like six inches, four inches? So then, like, you'd never be comfortable. And that fucking thing would be between your legs. Your heart on would go straight down. You'd just be like. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving them down. Moving them down. Yeah. yeah that would be weird having the balls on top. I'm putting the balls on top for sure. Just to show everybody. I'd be like, you guys want to see something cool? Look what God did to me. <laughs> what happens when it gets hardened? Let's find out. Touch it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going balls on top. All right, this is another one. Would you rather date a nine with a really annoying voice or a four with the sexiest voice ever? You said said date, date. date, not marry. Okay, you said date. Date. At least six months. Six Mm. months. Oh, yeah. You going with the nine, the most annoying, or are you going with the four... Sexiest voice of all time. I'm going nine. 
Just because, like, when you date someone for six months, I mean, you don't have to talk to them every day. Uh, yeah, you do. Oh, so that's the. I mean, I could deal with that voice for six months. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's definitely. You're taking the nine too. Yeah. I'd close my eyes. I'd go with the sexy voice. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta be. You gotta be seen with the four, though. <laughs> God damn. It. Well, it depends on what you're considering a Wait, four. like you you're not thinking about that. <laughs> you could like, No, you're right. That's why you're choosing. That's why yeah. people chose this. Yeah. Just be Manti Teo and have an all-night relationship <laughs> with the four. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Last, okay, last, last one. one. Last one. Oh, so cool. If your girl had to wear a mascot head during sex for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Little little fucking Tit for tat. <laughs> what do you think? Hold on, what, what, what mascot? What, what, what do you, like, college mascot? Yeah, sure, anything. Your, let your mind go wild, Shane. What do you got? <clears throat> what animal you fucking, you creepy <laughs> bastard? You bestiality fucking. <laughs> There's some bad ones out there. <laughs> well, all I, I mean, the picture alone on here is this chick, this sexy chick in underwear and underwear, her bra and panties, and then has a tiger head. So I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> all right, let's get let's get weird. This is like something that you don't tell people about. Yeah, that we're going through. It's what we do here. I got fucked up. How about like the Philly fanatic. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it has the fucking. Or name. what's what's his name from the Flyers? What's his name? Oh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Gr- gritty. Uh, gritty. Grimy. Uh, Grimy. Yeah, something like that. Flyers have the worst mascot on the planet by far. I'm so going stupid. college. I'm going college just because in college it was always like big tits and hot asses. And all of this, and you just, you're in the moment. What are you going with, Shane? I'm going Penn State because I don't like Penn State. So I'm just going to fuck the mascot. Oh, right, so you're going to make your girl wear the, the Penn State yep. mascot. The, the lion. Nittany lion. Because mm-hmm. I don't like them. I'm choosing something I like. <sighs> no, for sure. One time. Go Tigers. <laughs> Tiger? God damn it. LSU. <laughs> Hannah <laughs> loves LSU. Yeah, put the fucking outfit on, babe. <laughs> put the fucking head on. We'll get you in. LSU bikini, I'm going in. Yeah. You put the fucking tail on, I'll even get even weirder. <laughs> I think I'm going like Miami Dolphins. Like dolphin head. <laughs> no, it's the whole body. <laughs> well, okay, with the with the dorsal. <laughs> dorsal fin. <laughs> you weird bastards. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. So that's one for you and your you and your woman at home to discuss, everybody. The Buckeyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in, babe. I thought you were going to say like a Spartan, like a Spartan. No, mascot. no. Go Tigers. <laughs> I like the Philly Fanatic one. That was pretty good. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Yep. Me and my dick-sized nipples will be banging the LSU Tiger. <laughs> Get ready, baby. A fucking LSU Tiger outfit will show up at home. She'll be like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'll be like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh, man. That's the question to ask everybody, for sure. See how creepy everybody is and what kind of animal they're actually into. But all right, everybody. I appreciate you listening. This is always a good time. I love my Monday mornings. I hope you enjoy this just as much as we do making these. So, don't forget. Slap the old woman on the ass. Make sure you let her know that you love her. Kiss the kids. Have a good time. Be the hardest working motherfucker you can be. Enjoy life. Fucking A.